Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. My name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Yes, indeed. Have you ever tried to make a 3D bauble? No? Okay, then let me ask another question. Have you tried to make a 3D bauble or a kinetic card that maybe spins and you all get confused with the, the fishing wire that's twandled round and around and it spins furiously? But then with the same die set you can do so much more than one simple card. They are dies within dies within dies, which means you can make cards within a card within a card. And however, if I said if I'm not just going to give you the die set, I'll also give you the paper pad to match as well. And not just any old paper pad. These paper pads, well, I, I don't like to be biased, but they fly out like hotcakes on their own time and time again. They really, really do. Because they are, there's something about them. They, they glide from colour to colour. They're not just one colour. They are a kaleidoscope of colours. All the different gradients that are in there. They dance and sing. There are 24 sheets. You're getting eight designs that are in there. And how beautiful are these? And the perk about the pad on its own, we are talking 300 GSM. 
So the minute we start talking 300 GSM, we're now talking construction. Oh yeah, construction. You're thinking construction, you give me a set of dies, you give me a pad, and now you're talking about construction. Adam, what are you doing to me? Well, I'll tell you what we're doing to me. You saw some of the samples at the top of the hour. We are talking pieces that fit together perfectly. And not just guesswork where you have to cut a little bit here and cut a little bit there and do you have to measure and all this. No, 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 no. It's all been done for you. You get a full instruction booklet included in the kit as well. But what I love about the dies, it might be easier if I show you the dies themselves. I'm going to pick them up. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave them where they are. Uh, is the little notches that you get in every single die. Okay, you are getting in them all the dies that are there. You're also getting the magnetic sheet as well that you've already got. So, you are getting every notch in these will fit with another set of the notches that will work with them as well. So now, the circles that you've got here will all work together, which is beautiful. But they're also standalone dies if you want them to be. Don't worry, we'll go through all of this as the hour goes on by. But for me, you are really going to town when you see what you can create with these dies. And I'm not alone. No, no, no. The lady, well, the, <laughs> she's good. Oh, it's all right, so love. You are a lady and you're a very talented lady. That is what you are. That's the first time ever in a long time I've been called a lady. Well, in my book you are. You are a lady. I'll give her a big build-up that she deserves. Uh, the lady herself, the lady that knows more about these dives, obviously apart from Angela herself, uh, her right-hand woman, as it were. Uh, it is our Zoe. How are you, my love? I'm very, very well. Thank you very much. How are you? No, I'm good. Very well. Um, I love it when we have these sorts of dies here because it is a concept when you look at and you try and explain yes. you make it actually sound harder than it actually is yes definitely and Angela has taken all of that hard work out for you everything is measured and everything fits beautifully all you've got to do is cut them out you really really have now I've got the boards to show you what I mean now so um, the boards are just here, so all these little notches that you've got, so all those samples that you see there, you can now create. Because remember, you're getting the paper pad included as well. So you've got all these little notches, okay? So all these little elements in here, and if you don't want them, you can simply cut them off. It's as simple and easy as that. But all of these circles, so you take one circle, and then you get progressively smaller. So the smaller ones are going to fit on the inside. Then you get slightly bigger. So your bigger ones are going to fit on the inside of that as well. And then we start talking bows and we start talking little stars. Each one in itself is a work of art. Each one is a piece of engineering. And that's what it is. That's what it boils down to. We are talking engineering. But when we talk about we're talking simple engineering. The hard work has been taken out and everything has been done for you. Because Angela's quite good at this. She's quite good at putting her bundles together because nine times out of ten, the dies are perfect on their own. Yes. But yeah. now she's thrown in the paper pad as well. Yeah. You can start making straight away. I think the hardest bit is what part of the paper to use. Yes, that well, especially with them being double sided. Yeah. So you've got the more vibrant collection on one side and the muted section on the other side. And you literally get everything. You don't need to go out and buy some more paper, some more car, some more inks. You can just get going with what you've got. Everything is there and it's all tailored to fit together, but also to incorporate previous collections as well. And it will indeed. Um, will these work with other collections that we've already got in the range? Oh, this is where I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get a horror. I'm going to get telling off. I'm going to be on the naughty step. They work with the previous collections and I'm saying nothing else other than they work with something very, very new. I'm very exciting coming, but I can't say any more than that. I can. <laughs> They'll work with the newbies that are on their way. And I'm guessing. I'm surmising. They're amazing. Uh, so, you are buying into a collection. If you've got the previous kit, they're going to work with this kit. If you're going for this kit, they're going to work with the new kit. Yep. 
and I can say that's all right. The, yeah. the, the new <laughs> kit on the block, yes, I like it, Marcus. Uh, the new, uh, the new kit that is there, that is on its way. So don't worry. So remember, when you get these, it's all going to intermix. Angela does it so so well. Eight three three five five four is your item number. Uh, Thirty-seven pounds and ninety-eight pence, and you're looking at a four-pound saving there as well. Uh, get it while you can. Get it while you can. Stencils now. These stencils, once again, work with the collection beautifully. But when you see the detail in these stencils, they are amazing. Right, I'm just going to move that one out of the way. For the sheer fact, you are get look at the stencils that you are getting here. They are stunning. So you get the snowflakes on their own. Okay, then you get this. Now this could be anything. If you change the colours, it could be any season you want it to be. Definitely. If you say if you'd have yellow in the middle and then go over it with say an orange and then a red, you've got a summertime feel, haven't you? Flowers. That's what I like about them. But they've also got the Ice Queen look mm. to them. You know the famous Ice Queen. You know Elsa, our Elsa and Anna. They've got that look, so they'll be beautiful in kids' bedrooms and they sort of bring in the kids um, into these, which I absolutely adore. So as we've got a cake on set as well, that I did ask if it's edible and I was told it's not, it's polystyrene, but, um, which I'm quite gutted about. <laughs> but you can now decorate, oh yeah, it's not real, it's too light. Um, I thought it was gonna be better. You can now start decorating cakes with these as well, which I, which I think is amazing. Yes, I mean it is. I'm I'm gutted that that's not a cake. I I, no, I asked Rich and I said, can I have some of it when we when we go off air at eight o'clock? And he said, you're going to struggle to eat that. <laughs> yeah, but works on anything. So you've got your card, you've got your acetate, you've got your glass. It will work on glass on um, the the tote bags. The cotton tote bags works on that. Yes. Works on everything. And with them being that thicker micron. They're really good for you to be able to emboss with. You can put them through your embossing machine and they will emboss the detail for you. I, absolutely. So in theory, so what you're getting, you are getting two stencils there, by the way. So that is two, so you can pull them apart if you wish. This one is stunning. That little fleur de lis that you've got going on there, this screams Christmas. This is one of those stencils that you'd put in your window and spray that snow through. Yes, very, no, very classy. This no, it's was very classy with this. This was the one that on the hour that Janice we, and I weren't sure about, so she called them the in and the, innie and the outie. Well, I suppose. So. Do you Can know you... It's, it's a, if, if you actually look at it, one reflects the other. One, so you yeah, yeah, there's your, there's your, in theory, if you were die cutting, that's what you'd want, and that would be your waste. Yeah, is the way you would use it. So you have got the doubles, but not only are you getting your two stencils, they're very kind. They're also going to throw in a little freebie. That little freebie is worth five ninety nine its own. Once again, doesn't have to be a snowflake if it doesn't want to be. That could be so much more. It could be different colours in a different setting. It would be completely different. So you could have a mandala out of that as well. Yeah. You could have a return mandala. Now this is on extended delivery. It's brand new today. The fifth of October is when you're looking. Nine four five six seven eight is your item number. Nineteen pounds and ninety eight pence is what you're looking at for three stencils, big A4 stencils and that freebie as well worth five ninety nine. You can't go wrong. Nine four five seven six eight is your item number. Right then, stamp sets. Oh my word, these are. Gorgeous. 52 stamps. I'm going to go straight for the board. You always know when you're on for a winner for a show. For this amount of samples that you have at the back, it is chocker with samples back here that you're looking at at the moment. Let me show you though all of the stamps. These are so cute. Look at these. Now these, as you can see from the ones you're looking at, do these ring a bell by any chance? These are the dies that you saw first of all. So now you're looking for your dies. The details for those are at the bottom of the screen. But look at your stuff. These are cute. Aren't they? Have you noticed that one is, um, th there's two, that there's front bears. And then if you look, there's the, the rear of the bears as well. So if you oh. wanted to put them on one of the spinning sections, you could have the front and then spin it round to the back. How cute that would that be? That is her be? level of detail. That is Angela's detail. How, that how is amazing. So you start doing this maybe on a piece of acetate. So you have them at the front on acetate. Then as you're yeah. looking through, you still see what they're seeing. But now you've got the back of the bears as yeah. well. Oh my word, you get your snowflakes in there. Uh, you get your trees. You just do these out of green though. 
You do this out of green, they could be any season whatsoever. They don't necessarily have to be winter. I know they've all got scarves on, um, but if you wanted to, just saying it there, they could be like your favourite football team colours in the scarf that you want. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with them. Um, and I absolutely adore the sentiments and the little fleur de lis that you've got on there as well. Um, wish upon a star, once again, and a beautiful, beautiful saying. But then you get to see things like this. If I move that one out of the way, you can see that in all its glory, because my word, that is beautiful. It really, really is. You imagine putting lights in there and just lighting that up of an evening. It would be stunning in a little child's room. 22 pounds, 99 pence, you can create this as well. You see what I mean about the trees in the background? They could be for any year they want them to be. How stunning is that? Imagine having them two little bears cuddling, and as you turn the globe around, you've just got the back of them as well. Uh, 52 stamps in total, 22 pounds and 99 pence. 986366 is your item number. And this next one, I adore. For the sheer fact, this looks like you are an absolute genius. Like you are a paper wizard. But in theory, You've just run it through a dye machine. Let me tell you what you're getting. You First of all, you're getting your set of stamps. I'll show you the boards, as Angela's made them. I will show you them. Uh, so you're getting your boards. So you're getting your boards, and you're also getting your stamps in there as well. So these are all the stamps that you are getting. This is what you can achieve when you put your stamps together. Okay, so you're not just getting a random set of stamps. You are getting a project in them sets of stamps that you can use time and time again. But not only are you getting these? It is like build your own poinsettia because every leaf can be different, every leaf could be the same. So in theory you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight designs I would go for in there of poinsettia leaf. Then that's not it though, you're not just getting a set of stamps. From then what you're also getting is your paper pad. Now your paper pad in here is once again we're talking supreme quality and we're talking amazing, amazing colours. Look at these. These are beautiful. Double-sided, that in itself looks like a storybook scene. Like they're literally walking on a crisp evening as the moon shines down. Um, there is beautiful, all these pages, oh my word. I absolutely adore them. Beautiful, beautiful pages, time and time again. But then, the pièce de résistance, this is the bit I adore. It's this die set, because what you're going to get is this when it's cut out, okay? To look at it there, I'll agree with you, it don't look much. You look at it, you think, well, he was talking about engineering a minute ago. It look, he was talking about how it makes you look all really clever. Bear with, Margaret, bear with. For the sheer fact, this is what you're now going to be creating. So now, do these ones work before I start touching them? Um, which ones have you got? I don't know. I don't know if she's using those, if they've worked, but the, all the um, samples do. Don't break it, Adam. Don't break it. There's we'll Trisha's one. Trisha's silver and white one. That's beautiful. This one works. I know this one works. I've been playing with this one. Oh, now we are talking. Da, 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 da. You imagine these, just the flowers on their own for invitations. Coming to the wedding. Save the date. In that poinsettia theme, there are so many more. <gasps> You're getting 15 dyes. Oh, look at this. Look at this. How th pretty is that? Oh, my word. Little wand. Uh, there are so many more here. These are, you can make them spin. I don't know whether to spin them or open them, but I'm scared <laughs> to pull them. Uh, but, oh, no, it does. Little pictures on the inside. I'm guessing that one opens as well. Uh, these are absolutely stunning. They really are, and you can create all of these, and I've got so many more uh, back here to show you that spin and that open, uh, the different designs that you can get from all of these. The possibilities are endless. And it doesn't have to be a poinsettia, because if you do things like this, this could be a fantasy flower. And yes, the fantasy flower does open. Ha ha! And it also spins. How beautiful are these? Even like that, have it left open with maybe a little, a little Ferrero Rocher in the middle on a Christmas table. 
How pretty would that, that be? That would be nice, wouldn't it? With a little, yeah. a little, little mint, maybe a little, little Murray mint in there. As you open it up, there is a little, little after eight. Other mints are available. You can have a polo, you can have a spear mint. It's entirely up to you. Um, but it wouldn't be a classy dinner party if you had just a polo sitting in there, to be honest, <laughs> would it? Oh, by the way, here is the end. Oh, but there's a polo. Do you want to add to the packet? Uh, so, you know, uh, very busy. £21.99, two flexible payments, or £43.97. pence. Oh, we've got so much on this show you are adoring. Look at the seven-day savers as well on the show. We've got the Blanche paper kits on here as well. £9.99 pence would work wonderfully with your Angela Paul paper kits that we've got on the show. So really do shop ahead of me. Um, there are so many gorgeous things on this counter. I just want to sit for an hour and look. Um, uh, quickie glue pens. These are always a must. With these sorts of projects that you want as well, uh, get a set of five quickie glue pens because what you're then going to achieve is you can go for the smaller details on the cards. As I said, I will show you the samples as we go along throughout the hour. Do not fear. Right then, let's go back to demonstration. I know, it's the way I say it, it makes me sound French. Um, with our Zoe, right then, Zoe, what are we showing first? So, um, at the end of the last hour, um, we were going through this and I just got, just ran out of time. Yep. So, Janice um, promised everybody that I'd finish it so everybody could see the, the finished article. Oh, did so, she now? She did, Oh, yeah. okay, fair enough. She's putting a stamp on this one as well, oh, isn't she? We can't get rid of her. Just say it. <laughs> um, so, I'd done that in the last hour and then I cut out the aperture. What I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and cut this. Now, you were saying about the um, the, the small little notches. Yeah. So we've got the uh, a notch there and a notch there which will go into there, if we can see that. So it will go, it'll, the, it'll fit into there. And then I've got the bauble as well, and okay. those have got the notches to fit inside. So what I want to do is just, I want to get the colour in, but I know that I want to move quite quickly because... I've been given the go-ahead to do a poinsettia demo as well. Yes! <laughs> they love it. You know, I don't know... I don't... I, I love to know how Angela thinks these things through. Um, and, you know, I know that she draws inspiration from the garden um, and on some of her collections and nature. She's very... She went to a uh, university and I think her degree involved patterns. And it oh, was, she's it, very clever. Art, and it was an art-based degree but involved pattern building. Um, but how she comes comes up with these concepts and, and every time you think no she's not going to do better than this one she's not going to do better than this one and every time she does her collections re they're, they're, they're so contemporary yet um, they have such a, a traditional feel about them she captures the traditional nature of say Christmas um, you know she's but with her own twist on it is, that, is she what do you think is she watching this evening she is I know that they're uh, the Ange and Rich I don't know about um, Katie, because Katie's um, one of the designers involved at head office as well. Um, but I know that Angela and Rich are, are watching today. Yeah, I know Good watching. evening to the both of you. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Fingers crossed, because I know something I, I'm not allowed to say anymore. I can't say anymore. Oh, why can't you say? When's it coming out? Just tell me. She's not here. She'll never know. <laughs> um, What's the time? Go and make a cup of tea, Angela. I think you deserve one. Go well... On, tell me now she's not here. We're certainly looking... Towards, it's going to be no more than November. No <gasps> more than November. I, I, I promise that's going to be no more than November. But it is something to watch out for. But the great thing is that um, these, the slot and spin, definitely are incorporated within this new collection. So it's like you're building, you're, you're building your tools up. You're building oh. your, your engineering tools up, shall we say? So, yeah, it's watch this space. But every time, you know, you think, how can she better herself? How can she, you know, she's, how can she one up or trump, you know, one upmanship on herself? Yeah, um, and it just it keeps coming. Just keeps coming. She is fantastic. And the, the, the thing is, she, she doesn't, I don't think she quite knows how clever and, you know, she is to be able to come up with these things. Oh, she won't be able to get out of the living room soon. <laughs> Oh, we've bigged her up a lot. She is, she is very talented. I'll she give is, her that. she is, and she is a lovely, lovely lady. She really is. I remember her first show I did with her. Did you? Yes. yes. I bet she was, she was a bit nervous, wasn't she? She was amazing. I was just stood in awe. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's when we could stand next to each other. Oh, I know. She could, she Fingers could smell, crossed. she could smell my jupe. <laughs> could she? I don't wear jupe. Old Spice, classic. <laughs> So I'm taking one of the um, 
one of the sentiments because on that the stamp sheet that you come with them the fo the um, photopolymer they're really good stamps they're sort of almost like the kiss stamps you don't need to bear all your weight on them and you get a lovely pristine Look at that. can I you see the how these. pristine that's that's come out yeah. you can read it it's sort of beautiful and you saw I didn't put much weight on I wasn't weight bearing so although it's not going to it's not coming in useful on this one I just wanted to show because a lot of people will see the circular stamps and they are to go sort of round the extremities these of these. These are from the 52 sets of stamp yeah. sets which are those beautiful polar bears in as well there's so much more you can do. So with yeah we can see there can we, oh, turn it that way and you can see there that I've, I've put that stamp on and round the sort of extremity and with all these different layers and with all these different apertures you can create six seven um, apertures going through and you know mechanisms yeah. and these there's all different sizes on the stamp set to to go around all of them as well so it's the level of detail and everything is hand drawn by Angela she everything right down to every single one of those 52 stamps everything is hand drawn she's a clever sausage so what I'm going to do now is this is where it comes to connecting it so I'm going to put this bit which was from one of the dies into the aperture that I cut out and then I'm going to put it into the bottom now I've done it the wrong way around so I apologize to Angela now but you're supposed to um, you're supposed to put the small I'll do it as this one because you're supposed to put the smallest die in first okay now the card that we use this this car pack is 300 GSM which is what you want for to be you know good GSM to be taking all this because although it's you know it's very fine you need robust card and this works brilliantly so I wouldn't recommend less than three 300 GSM really um, to be to be cutting this because I suppose you want them rigid enough to because they're gonna you want them to turn because they're really tactile yeah. everyone everyone has w walked in this afternoon and we've all had, we've all had a little spin of everything that way there we go so the overhead. That. so you can see that they all straight away everything starts moving now if you don't want them to move or if they're going in the post what you can do to stop them from moving is have one of the notches in going one way so that's on the left at the moment and that, that's on the left there but if I just change it and just so it's, it's going the opposite section can you see now it's not going to move you sort of locked it into yeah, place yeah and if I do it on the, with this one so if you didn't want them as moving parts then they don't have to be so you've got them structured safe there and they're not going to move there so that is so that's that's stationary now and that's like, not going oh, to move look at that and then this was one where I just put some of the um, I've used one of the stamps and then some embossing powder on there. And look how quick you can change it from the same design, the same dies. You can really change out something different, right? Then. Well, let's always set up for a poinsettia demonstration, yes. which I cannot wait for. They are amazing. We've had to go ahead to do these. Uh, we are getting sets of dies, and we're also getting uh, your paper pad included as well. Now, let me show you some of the samples, give you some ideas of what you can achieve when you get these home. These are beautiful two-dimensional cards standalone two-dimensional they are lovely because you've got that aperture in there it looks like a little snowflake with the little polar bears that are in there but then it's when you open them up is when you get the full beauty of these cards because remember there is a back and a front so you can really go to town it's so flexible nothing's going to go wrong uh, to them uh, let me show you something else so you've seen just the stamps on their own but no use the spinner as the little star in the top so this has now been locked into place but how beautiful does that look and it looks it's a classy little card that you are also getting there also using the stencils that we've also got on the show uh, from there once again let me open up some more so you can see how they all work so this is that stamp that we were talking about the bears with the back but you can see how it works so there's the front there's the back of the bears how it all works together in one card uh, from that we've also got so once again it's stuck into place so that's not going to swivel around uh, because of the tabs at the top but once again a stunning little card that you can create 
Uh, there are so many samples here that I could literally flick through time and time again. Not using anything and just using these. They are absolutely, just using the dies on their own that you've got now. The details for those are at the bottom of the screen. Uh, £29.99. Uh, so you get the small, the medium and the large that you get there as well. Let me show you them in die form. I've got the boards uh, for you just down here. Uh, so the boards themselves, these are um, in die form of what you're going to get. So this is what they look like when they're all cut out. Uh, so you've got all the elements uh, that cut out as well, and you also get the little notches. Remember, the notches do the work for you. So you've got the circles, necessarily not for Christmas if you don't want it to be. Neither is this. Neither is this. I know you're thinking, well, it's a bauble, Adam. Of course it's for Christmas. If you turn it upside down, you could change that into a balloon. You could change that into something else that if you wanted it to be. So you can now go to town. So cut it, cut it off there and then you draw a little basket onto it. Yes, it might not spin. You might be clever enough to make it spin. Uh, but you've got yourself a little hot air balloon if you wanted it to as well. Uh, also, I know, Zoe. I know. Uh, so, <laughs> Amazed. We need you on our design team. Oh, uh, well, I'm waiting for the emails. I say it a lot on this program, but no one ever does. Uh, but you've also, well, I haven't got the time. Uh, but you've also got these other ones as well. You're not just getting one. There is so many die collections that you are getting in here. You even get the bow that could be made into so much more. Uh, £37.98 for your A4 paper that you've got there. Um, and you're also getting the two sets of dies that you're getting as well. And you're getting all your 300 GSM. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cardstock that we've got. Uh, something else that we've got on the show is the stencils. Oh, that comes off. Uh, it's the stencils that we've got there as well. Oh, I lifted up the little bear and I thought it was all attached. <laughs> But it's not, <laughs> and it's and it's trying to talk, and then I thought, oh no, 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 no don't break it, Adam, don't break it. How cute is that, though? It really is. There is something about. Look at that. What a beautiful present that is. It would be. That would be something that you bring out every single year. Yeah. yeah. Um, but or a little photo. You could put a little photo of a loved one, maybe seeing mm. Santa. Maybe not this year because he's busy. He's, he's isolating. Ha! Uh, so. <laughs> Sorry, you can come again, Sam. You, you're laughing at all these jokes. Nobody normally does. It's only just me. Uh, but uh, what are we getting this time? Now, we're now talking about stencils is what we're talking about. You get two A4 stencils and you also get the free stencil as well, worth five pounds, uh, worth four pounds and 99 pence. Uh, five ninety nine. sorry, I did it justice. Uh, but once again, you can do so much. How beautiful are the stencils that you're getting in here? Um, it's on extended delivery as well. The 5th of October is what you're looking at for all this I think it is beautiful and once again there is a lot of stencil uh, for your money here just look at that once again yes it's all Christmas themed at the moment but necessarily doesn't have to be Christmas and doesn't have to be a card if you don't want it to be either um, how, that is stunning it's a bauble it started life like that just so I know what it is bauble and then that's what it looks like now that is beautiful, uh, using the stencils that you're getting in your kit. Uh, three lots of stencils is what you're getting, two A4s and a little three, three B's thrown in, just for good measure. For £19.98, pence, nine four five six seven eight is your item number. Right then, stamps. I love these stamps. I so <laughs> want these stamps. Let me show you on the boards. Is this the one I want? Yes, it is. Uh, these are the stamps that you're actually getting. Oh, I had a board for the stencil as well, and I forgot. Uh, put it the right way, Adam. Uh, these are the boards that you're actually getting. So now you can see the design from the start of when we had the first designs that you've got there as well. So these are all the elements that we are using from our little dies that you saw first of all. It works out to be less than 50 pence per stamp, and then these are the stamps that you are getting. I adore these. For the sheer fact... Little polar bears are quite easy to colour. Because if you do it in white cardstock, there's not that much colouring. <laughs> and if you're not very good at colouring, like myself, I'm trying, but I'm not the best. Um, this is easy because you've only got to colour scarves in. So you can really go to town. Things like this, it's so just a bit of shading. And most of the hard work has been done for you um, in the shading variety. Let me move that out of the way. Um, most of the hard work has been done for you for the sheer fact you just put the shading where the lines are. And you just thought of it all when you go through this. I think that is absolutely adorable. I really, really do. £22.99, 52 stamps in total is what you're looking at. 986366 is your item number that you're looking at for this as well. It's a beautiful ride. Right. Poinsettia bundle. We're about to demo this. Um, once again, this is one of these dies that for me to try and explain 
is really, really difficult. Because you try and make it sound easy, but in fact you make it sound twice the hard than it actually really is. So, you are getting a full set of instructions with this as well. But, what I would do, remember you've got this back on 60 days. I was just trying to find a card that I didn't want to break. Uh, so look, how easy it is. It's all in the folding and it's all in the paper. So not only do they spin like a pinwheel, which is another way you could use them, you then open them up and you get the design on the inside. That, as a card in itself, is another way. Yes, it's not meant to be used that, but then it all closes up and snaps back together. How beautiful is this? And it's all a testament to Angela's 300 GSM card stuff that's coming in with the kit. It's robust enough that you can open and close it, open and close it, but look at the colours that you're getting on there already. And once again, showing you some of the stuff that you can create with the stamps that you're getting in there, it really, really doesn't do it justice until you get these home. So, if I pop this in, these are some of the things that you can achieve with the dies that you get home as well. So remember, you've got the dies, you've got the stamps to go over the top of there as well. Stamps? Oh, yeah, you get a set of stamps as well. Of course you do. We've thought of everything. £43.97 pence is what you're looking at for this. 641243 is your item number. Uh, something else that you're loving is the die set on its own, though. You can go for the die set on its own. If you want the point set here on its own, there it is. Twenty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Four nine two four one five is your item number that you're looking at. If you want the paper pad on its own, maybe your paper pads come to an end, and you think, well, actually, I've already got the dies from last year. I'd just like another one of those paper pads. Uh, nine ninety-nine for the paper pads. For that paper pad, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five, well, I'll start that again. One five six eight nine three is your item number. Get them while they're there. For nine ninety nine, you really can't go wrong. Slot and spin frames, seventeen dies in total. The dies on their own are twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Nine eight six three zero two. But you know what? Maybe you just want the paper pad on its own. Maybe you're thinking, I'd love that paper pad. Um, get the paper pad on its own. But then. Maybe you want an extra paper pad, £11.99, 300 GSM, 24 sheets in total of A4 gradient card is what you're looking at. 564284 is your item number. Right then. This is the fun bit. Uh, go on then, so let's make a poinsettia. Right, well this is what I'm going to show. Okay. This is one that I made and obviously you can see it with spin, we've, we've seen it in action. And it's a Christmas one. Now, by all means, it's not just for Christmas. No, it's not. Trisha did a beautiful one for a wedding. Then there was one that I saw for an anniversary and a birthday one. So the, the possibilities with these are endless. And I was really excited when Angela said that we, we might be bringing these back. So I've, that's what I'm going to do. Now, for speed of time, I've cut everything out. I've used one side of this card. How lovely is that? It is, it it is, is really, really lovely. And you can see that Angela hasn't got... a. She, Things aren't going to become generic for Angela because one paper pad is so different to another paper pad, isn't it? You know, it really it, it is. Really is. At 50%, we're approaching 50% of the stock. Oh, Oof. half the stock now. I was meant to say approaching 50. That's been and gone. 50% uh, of the stock of the poinsettia has now already gone. Well, let's go back to poinsettia. So we've got the die, and I'm going to cut it out from a different um, piece of paper, a piece of card from the paper pad. And obviously, all the colours work together. The, they, they all complement each other. Now, in with the dies comes, obviously, that's what you're getting. Now, this, for me, these, this was the, the, the thing that helped me. When, I will be honest, um, because when we first got these, we as the design team didn't get this. We just oh. got dies um, and, and a bit of instruction. And I will be honest, I struggled. I really will. So when I knew that we were going to be doing these, I said, can you send me a set? And I got the instructions, and on the back as well, I got the instructions, and straight off the bat, I, brilliant, 
I knew what I was doing. So the, the instructions are so, so clear that you, yes, there's YouTube videos available, and you know, if you go to the website or on the Facebook, there's videos available, but these are so concise. You know, if it does look daunting for you, you must not worry because everything is here to tell you how to do it. 55% of the stock has now already gone. 55% of the stock has now gone. Getting quick, it's going fast. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, Adam. 60% of the stock has now already <laughs> oh, no. gone. 60% of the stock. It is phenomenally busy for the poinsettia. You've been waiting for it to come back. It it's now back. I'm just hearing once this is gone, are we honest? Is that true? Once this is gone, it has gone. I like to double check. Oh, but it might be. So, can I tell them? Yeah. Uh, if it sells out, okay, the bundle won't be coming back. The die will on its own but without the paper pad. So if you want it all together with the stamps, the paper pad and the die, get it while it's there, because once this is bundle is gone, this bundle will not be coming back. Uh, and if it comes back without the... Oh, if it comes back without that paper pad, we won't get the flexible payments on it as well. 70% uh, of the poinsettia now has already gone. 80% of the poinsettia <gasps> die has now already gone. Uh, right then, start checking out your baskets if you want that poinsettia. 80% of the stock. Right, let's get to demo before it sells out. Okay, so on the instructions, it shows on the instructions where to fall. We've got what they call the peak and the valley, or mountain and the valley. 85, oh no, <laughs> sold out. We are now at a technical sellout for your poinsettia die. So the poinsettia, your paper pad and your stamps have now gone as a bundle. I will bring it back, but I've got no paper pad this time. So what are you getting now? Let me have a little read myself because I don't know. A4 die set and the A5 stamp set, £33.98 this time. This time, there's no paper pad and unfortunately no flexible payments, but I've got no, um, I ain't got much of this either. Get it while you can, that points. Let's go to a demo, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be quiet. Let's go to Zoe for a demo. I'm panicking because we're going so quickly. I want to try and get it in. So, you've got the mountain and the valley folds and you just have to play with them. Now, they come scored with the die. Um, if, you f if you're using thicker card than this, um, what you may want to do is just take your um, knife, your, your craft knife and your ruler and just gently run it down the score lines just to help you. But all I'm doing is I'm just teasing them round now so you can see how we're starting to get there. And all you've got to do is just follow them round. There we go. Can you see we're there? Yeah. So all I've done is I've just spent five minutes just teasing, well not five minutes, it was just while you were talking, so a minute just, just um, easing the creases round. And if you, you know, if you are using thicker card, just, you may want to just use your knife and your um, ruler just to gently go over them. Well, you, you might not need to. So we've got that and we've got that. Now I've got the stamp, which is, I'm using the vines for this one. Okay. So, so this does come in the kit, remember, 30% of, of the new kit has now already gone. It's flying out this poinsettia. 30% um, of the new kit has already gone there. Uh, you get the stamps and you get in the die. So this is the stamp set that comes in this kit as well, so you're not missing out on this. Yeah, the stamp set's brilliant. It covers all bases. Um, you've got greetings on there, you've got the different leaves, you've got your swirls and your flourishes as well. So, and obviously the swirls and the flourishes and the stars, they can all be used for different things and can the... Um, sentiments as well. Well, even these leaves on their own. Yes, they look. I think for an autumnal, um, an un autumnal feel, you could have them printed off. You could stamp them in, say, golds or you yeah, know, sort of reds nice. or that something. Or if you wanted to, you could use your Versafine in black, and then you could use whatever medium, be it your watercolour paints or your pens, just to go over the lines or just fill in with the greens, and that looked really effective. It would it look beautiful? So I'm using the um, slow drying embossing powder just to get around as quick as I can. Although I've, I've got a feeling I'm, I'm worried we're not going to get to putting it all together. Before no, we're doing all right. We're doing all, right, all right, right so far. I feel like I'm going quicker because I'm like, quick, I've got to get it you're, in. <laughs> you're fine. But it's just, this is brilliant. I love it. Absolutely love it. It was over the last couple of weeks revisiting it and I was like, oh, oh. and yeah, I remember you now. And the, um, the instructions, I can't. Say, 
say enough about the instructions. Angela and Katie, um, they they work really well and really hard to make sure you've got instructions so you can literally get this home, get any of the sets home, have a read through and you're going, you're doing it. Now it is true, they're just telling me how busy we are. Oh, okay. We are phenomenally busy for this poinsettia. Really? Like phenomenally busy. I'm not surprised, it's beautiful, you know, and it's not aged. Now this, you know, this has come out before, this is a previous release and it, it doesn't age. But it's no, it really contemporary. Doesn't. But it's classic. No, it, it, this is what. I, see, this distance thing really annoys me because now I could help you tidy up. I know you, you're looking at that mess that I'm I made. I really am. <laughs> my, my OCD's like that, going out, but I can't. We're approaching. Why you uh, heating buzz that? We're approaching 40% of this new bundle has now already gone. You are getting the poinsettia die. You're getting the stamps included as well. So now you can add flourishes to the leaves. 22 stamps is what you're getting. Uh, 15 dies. They're both coming together like holy. Macaroni. Look at that. You're getting both of them. Um, well, I don't know what's going to happen if that goes. Well, that doesn't. That's another phone call we'll get to later on. Oh, buyers won't be up now. Oh, they won't be. The, the buyers don't wake up at this, so they don't answer a phone after four o'clock. No, they'll be tucked up in bed now, aren't they? Oh. Well, we're slaving away here. Well, the worst thing is, four o'clock, they're still here. Really? And they still don't answer a phone. <laughs> You think I'm joking? <laughs> I also took their desk with them little air airpods in their ears. Oh, listening to Radio yeah. Two. Oh. And they're not bothered about you being on the phone at the other end, are they? No, they don't. They don't mind me. I'm I standing next say. to them, which is the worst thing. <laughs> No, they are lovely. Everybody is lovely here at Hoshanda. Yes, it's, they are. They're all lovely. It's such a nice team here. They're so, and it's such a nice company to work with. You know, as well as Angela Paul. Angela, Katie and Rich, they are absolutely, they are really lovely. You're buying from a small company that is really just, it, she, Angela's just bursting with, she's bursting with talent, but she's also bursting with ideas and it's not about oh let's create the big books because if it was she wouldn't have given you so many dies because if you think if you buy a set of nesting dies yeah. you maybe get five or six and you're going to pay 12 13 pounds yeah, just for that yeah, easily. you know so you're getting so many dies uh, we've had some amazing emails in as well um, who was the email from mom heather she says, um, Angela is a genius in capital letters. Yes. Is what she, she, is. she says she loves all the collections as well that she brings out. Um, and it is true, Angela is a genius, but you're not on your own when we talk about Angela Paul. There is a massive community out there. If you've not seen her on social media, go and have a look. She does videos, she does lives. Um, she's all over the socials. Uh, so do go and check her out. So if you're buying these and you think, that was all well out. I bought them now, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, don't worry. There's a big old community out there that will really help you along the way. Right then, let's go back to demonstration. We're approaching half the stock of these now. We've already gone. Okay, so this the instructions also tell you how to make the mechanism that allows it to move freely. And these instructions are on the bottom of the second okay. page. That's nice. So I will do it as quick as I can. You, Ooh, no, it you get these dies with them, and they look nothing at the moment. But what we're going to do is we're going to these act as the brads. So they've got score lines, so you just need to fold them at the score lines and then you want to pop them through that hole. Okay, so that's through the hole of the one, two, three, four, five, what is it? A heck, pentagon. Thank you, that's it. I was struggling there. <laughs> I just went for a guess. My next one was going to be hexagon. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, two, three, four, five, six, it is. How did you know that? That's that's a hexagon. You see, I do my <laughs> research. I don't just I don't just walk into these shows, you no, know. No, you I, don't. I, I, I do, do don't sit you? at home and do a little bit of prep. So Angela recommends that you use some of the red liner tape, the three mil, and it, you only want a little bit on. But I like the way once again Angela's thought instead of saying use a brad, yeah, and then you have to cover the brad up with a matte flower or a butterfly. Mm -hmm. She's made the brand herself. It's all made out of paper, so you know it's all going to fit on the back. It's all going to be hidden. Yeah. And that's the mechanical about it. So all the dies are in there to make this. And once again, once you've got the dies, you can then make anything spin. Yeah, of course you can. And, you know, if you think about it, she could have sold packets of plastic brads that you have to use, so you keep coming back and having to use them. But the, the craft, crafting lady in her, no, I'll give you the tools so you don't, you know, have to keep on spending. So with these, you can just make endless ones. You don't need to go back and buy plastic brads or anything like that. Okay, so I'll turn it over. And then those two, I put three mil of red liner tape on there. Yep. 
going to put it down onto the back. So we've now got the pentagon. Pentagon. <laughs> there but the the brad is now there because the bits are underneath and then what we want to do is just could you use glue if you wanted to you i know andy says use three yeah. mil but if we haven't got three mil say we're on a little bit of a budget yeah yeah well, i would say yes put, okay. use very small amounts of glue just make sure it doesn't go onto any of the moving mechanisms and okay. yes it'll be fine i have tried it with those and it does work if you're using tacky glue just pop the just um give it a minute before put the tacky glue in uh, on sparing amount and then just let it set for a minute let it get tacky okay makes sense i think these are so clever they really are but i just i don't that angela and um of course katie i always i must remember to to mention katie because katie's there as well busy with angela they are such clever ladies they really are really are oh and you know how we're talking about that um the free stencil yes with the other collection the reason why angela's put that in is because she designed it um and she felt it really must go in with the collection oh that's nice and she's given it away free rather than bring the the price point up even higher she thought the collection wasn't full without it so she put it in free for everybody and that, a, how nice is that she's a good egg yeah and i can vouch for that that's true i she's can vouch a good for that egg. She really is. Um, so where is where is Angela Paul Towers? Um, Bristol. Ah. So, a bit of a way from here. No, I bet, it's, I bet it's a right old hoot in the office. Well, they, um, and Rich is about, and I'm, I don't think you've met, have you met Rich? Oh, I've met Rich. Oh, he's, um, he's he a character. He did the second show, he was nervous, I remember. He's a character. I won't go into details, but um, I had an accident, quite a serious accident, um, last week and um on my push bike and all he was bothered about was he rang me up yesterday and he said it's an awkward question i don't want to ask this but how's your face <laughs> <laughs> okay thanks <laughs> it's not changed much but that's him he's just a joker that, just a joker so we've got that we've got the sticky tape and then we're going to pop it in the oh i've got my floor my flourishes so these are the flourishes as well that i've because I know these don't have to be used at all. These can just be for anything. You they know, could be any flour. And I must say, you are doing extremely well. Because um, for, for, for oh, okay, you are doing very well. Considering well, no, I mean the accident. Like you are walking around in a sling all day. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> and obviously, <laughs> TV reasons, you wouldn't you wouldn't know the difference. But obviously, <laughs> I get to see you before these cameras start to roll. <laughs> you let me go. Ooh, yeah. It's your left arm as well, bless you. When you press down them stamps, I'm like, I wish I could help. <laughs> I know, I could do with you being I just, over I here. I literally just I? stand here. But here we go. These are the flourishes. I just think these are beautiful. And everything, and I can't state it enough, everything is hand-drawn. You know, and that, to me, speaks of um, just such immeasurable talent rather than getting a computer to do it for you. And Angela is so meticulous when it comes to her designs as well. If it's not right... It's not, it's not going out. If she's not happy with it, it's not going out. That is beautiful. So we've put that down. And then, now I've taken the sticky off there. I'm going to put that there. Oh, my But word. we need to open it up because I just need to do my sentiment. So this is one of the pen pentagons. I'm being careful there. One of the pentagons to go with it. And the stamp set. Now this doesn't have to, I've put Merry Christmas on here because we're talking about Christmas. But it doesn't have to be Christmas, does it? No, it could be anything. I've put, I've made a card that if we get round to seeing it, it's got a picture of my daughter's face in. Aww. So that's really nice for, for Grandma. Well, these could be save the dates. Yeah. You do them in the wedding colours, because everyone does the same the dates in the wedding colours that your wedding's going to be in. Mm -hmm. I don't know, oh, that might have just been us. Uh, but you will do the wedding colours, so you could do the, the poinsettia in your wedding colours, and necessarily it doesn't have to be then a poinsettia, but then you've got that open and closed mechanism, uh, just on a, a blank card base, and that could be the pop of colour on the front, yeah. if you wanted it to. Yeah, if you wanted to, to go nice. for the monochromatic yeah. look, you know, um, even if you're doing something like, if you had a... Uh, a prom or if you had an 18th birthday 21st birthday you know you could have it as um you know purple and white or purple and black and that sort of thing to change it up but where are we, where are we? there we go so that's what we've got that's that. what i've made and you've seen that that didn't take long at all you just manipulate it the, the car just manipulate it and then look, there we go round and round 
Over 60% of the start has Nisa has now already gone. Now already imagine doing 24 of these. I'm a big fan of doing, get, making a present last for an awful long time because I think you get more out of it. Um, and that's what I did last Christmas. I gave my, my family, so it was my wife and my child, I gave them, I gave them the gift of time because we don't spend enough time together. So every month they've had a little parcel delivered through the door oh. that I send myself, and I send it to them and I say, right, this day we're all going out. We're all going for a garden walk. And that's what you do. And when you open it up, it is the gift of time because you spend time together. But you imagine doing these and sending these and I open every single one and they've got something different on the inside. You open them up and you've got things like advent calendars when you open them up. So each one may have a chocolate coin in, because you could fit a substantial chocolate coin inside that's already there. So with the mobile that you've got, this is not poinsettias that you've got behind. These are little envelopes uh, that you've got there as well. But how beautiful uh, from the first collection that you've got there. But each one of these could have something in. Every single one would be manipulated, could be a poinsettia that if you wanted as well. They are stunning and you can do it with any of the collections. This was the first collection uh, that we've talking about as well. Um, right, so we've got, how long we got? We've got three minutes. Three minutes. Can you show me anything in three minutes? What? And then I've got a little surprise for you. Shall I show the other, sta other samples that I was going to yeah, demo? Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it, let's do it, let's do yeah. it. Okay. While so, you do that, yeah. I've also got something to tell you as well. Oh. So, um, Angela and her, her beautiful other half, um, they've been in contact with us. Uh, now, oh, it was no. due, due to time, we couldn't get this done. This is what they were all talking about me in my ear while you were demoing that poinsettia. They wanted to ring in uh, and they wanted to speak to you. Oh. Not me, they wanted to speak to you. They wanted to come through to the studio, uh, time constraints and technology behind the scenes, we've yeah. not been able to do it, to say how amazing you are oh. at demonstrating. Um, that's what they wanted to say, and that's what's been fed to me at the moment. Uh, so they are that watching, and they lovely. want to say you are. They're very happy with what you do. They love what you do, and they're you're an amazing part of their design team. Thank you. That means a lot to me. That does. It means a lot to me. I love it. I, you know, and I cannot. Whack, I can't speak highly enough for these products. I love it, and I'm so so lucky to be on the team and to be able to speak as a seasoned crafter. You know, an independent crafter. So here's one with the um, with the poinsettia. And then I've just used the um, a stamp from the new collection. Yep. And we've got that. And then inside we should have a cheeky little face. That is my Aww. daughter. There she is. And this is for this is this would be for her grandma because she helped me make it. So sweet. I know. There she is. Shall I turn shall I turn around so we can see her? Oh, we're going. There we go. There you go, look. That's so you can put little pictures in there. That would be yeah. beautiful for little yeah. scrapbook albums that you've got going on there as well. And then, you know, we talked about the the sort of either wedding theme or anniversary theme. Yeah. How about this then? Now, this that. is this is going one step further because if I pull it out, it's using the other dies. If you can Ooh. see there, we can get a... Can you see there? Yeah. We're using the other dies to make the flower even bigger oh, and I've got happy that. Christmas in it or Merry Christmas but it can be anything that, that can't could be it? an anniversary it could be yeah. a golden anniversary if you wanted to do it as a silver mirror card do a silver anniversary uh, it's all worth it it's beautiful then, anyone want to show me yeah so I want to show you this one because this is a different a bit of a different take on the, the we've got a, we've thing. got a minute just okay so you know. this is one that I was going to make but we've run out of time and it's an easel card okay but if you look on the front we've got the bears oh. we can see it and then if we just turn it round We've got behind. Look at Isn't them. that cute? And I love your idea about it being football bears. If we look at that, that is a great idea. Yeah, change the colours of the scarf. That could be anything. Brilliant. And then all we do is we just slot it in. So we slot it there and we slot it there. Oops. But this is just an easel die. An, an easel card, there and we go. And it's another way of using it as well, look, see, and it supports itself because of that 300 GSM cardstock uh, that you've got there as well. So we'll spin around, um, put your, even tea lights, that's cute. Now this, this was one that I came up with, um, and I wanted to show you, but it, it just takes a little bit of time, is these, a curved card. That's but nice. what I've done is, 
um, if I can get it in shot, there we go. I've built the scene up. So with those stamps, you've got scene building stamps. You've also got focal ones. But look at that. It is beautiful. We're running out of time. I've only got 30 seconds left of this hour. Our poinsettia. We're approaching three quarters of the stock has already gone. Get in while you can. Uh, thank you, so It's been an absolute pleasure. It's been uh, wonderful to work working with you. Again. Hopefully we'll do it all again products. soon. Uh, to you as well, Angela, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you for watching as well. And you, thank you for watching. I'll see you bright and breezy tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, maybe 9 o'clock. Let's join together. Let's wake up together. Oh, what a treat. Right, don't go anywhere. The next three hours look a little bit like this. Uh, design a scrap bag one day special. You do not want to miss that without Janice. And then the pens, they're back. I will see you tomorrow morning. No, no. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touchdown. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select Network Settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. 
This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Sorry, that's me. Yes, cue me. Um, I was just talking to the lovely Jenny. We were saying Jen, Jenny, Jan, Janice. We were just having a little discussion. So what did we decide upon? Well, in Surrey, I've, I've always written on my patterns Jenny, so everyone knows me as Jenny. Oh. So I'll stick, I'll stick with Jenny for now. Let's, let's go yeah. with Jenny. This is Jenny, Hi. everyone. Um, I'll go with Janice. I know some people can call me Janice. It's ever such a weird thing. Um, but anyway, it's great to have your company tonight. This is the One Day Special. Here on Hochanda, we launch a One Day Special every day at 6 p.m. And it's a 24 hour deal, so we have some fantastic deals for you at discounted prices. So. You're saving £40 on this deal, and we can split the cost into two payments. We don't split the delivery. The delivery comes all in one go. Can you imagine if we did that? But we split the payments, so it makes it easy for you to pay. So if you are in the market for some delightful designer fabric, oh, we have got some for you. We have got five designer five designer um, fabrics for you here, which just look amazing, don't they, Jenny? Yeah, the quality is immense. Do you know what I love about this deal? Sometimes you want that feature fabric and you just can't quite decide because there is so much out there on the market. And this is going to give you the chance to have 25 pieces, contents will vary, 25 pieces from five different designers. Now they are US fat quarters, so what does that mean, Jenny? It just means they are slightly thinner than, because uh, they're measured by the yard, not the meter. Can I get one out to show you? The fabric, that is. It's not, <laughs> it's not past nine o'clock yet. <laughs> uh, right, it's a good size and this yeah. is a beautiful pattern. You can do so much out of a fat quarter. Wow. Sometimes if you haven't really used them much, people might think, oh, we can't really do that. We're patchworkers, we'll cut it up, we'll sew it back together again, <laughs> and we'll make it go really far. We sound like a surgeon, I like it. <laughs> a fabric surgeon, that's yes. what we'll call you. Um, now, let's talk about the designers that we've got here, because we've got five designers, and you're going to get five pieces from each designer. This is an array of the products that you're, uh, you may get because contents are going to vary so we can't promise you're going to get all five or all of those five but contents will vary so I think that's a great idea though because it's going to be very exciting when they arrive I was going to say Christmas Day, it's going to feel like Christmas Day um, but it's going to be exciting when they arrive when you unwrap it see what you've got yeah, I like doing stuff like that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's, it's a good, good idea. Right, it's good, isn't it? That's, uh, that's my Lester coming <laughs> out. Um, can we talk through the designers? Yeah, we could do, we could do. Uh, right, we've got Joel Dubry, Snow Leopard. Oh, that's a good name. That is. Yeah, like that. Amy Butler, Book Who, as in Bookaroo. And Stephen Wilson. Um, so we've, uh, I'm not sure if I did the, the, the middle one uh, right, so do forgive me if, if I haven't. But designer fabrics means that somebody has sat down, they've put the patterns together, they've thought about the colourways, and they've thought about the way that those patterns are going to go down onto the fabric. So you are winning in every uh, shape and form when you get these home because we've got some wonderful designs. Now, how would we use these, Jenny? What would you use them for? So because they're all, they all come in one designer, so five are one designer yes. going down, they all go together. So although sometimes when you look at them first glance, you think, oh, will they? But once you start cutting into them, the larger prints, they look really good together. So you could use them for all sorts, quilts, tote bags, cushions so many different things and what's lovely about them as well when you see the five together they are all different patterns but that's what makes them so usable 
they're not just the same patterns you've got the same colorways running through and that's the thought process that's gone into these designs so if we take a look we've got the flowers we've got the flourishes we've got some butterflies in there which match up with those beautiful flowers they look like dahlias for example gorgeous backgrounds and then we've got some very modern very um, abstract style designs and then we've got some lovely almost tie-dye style designs that you've got here uh, which are beautiful especially I mean you may or may not get this but just to give you a taster can I open this one up I promise I will fold it back up very very neatly but this is what we're talking about when it comes to designer fabrics that is gorgeous yeah the quality is really good so they're all um Although it's different designers, all the fabric is um, free spirit fabric. So all these people design under the free spirit label and their fabric is amazing quality. It is, isn't it? Yeah, right. you can tell it from the way you feel it. I mean, obviously from TV you don't know, but yeah. you can feel it's weighty. And also if you look closely at the prints, they're sharp and the actual print is really clear. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. And they do, it feels nice. Yeah. You know a decent fabric, don't you, when you feel it? Because it feels nice. You want to work with it. You want to stitch with it. You want to quilt with it. You want to patchwork. These patterns are absolutely stunning. Lots of colour in there. It's like a kaleidoscope, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Uh, we've got some more options for you, just to give you a taster. Uh, let me just fold that and fold that and turn that over there and put that back there. You see, I told you I was going to do it nice and neat. Uh, just to give you an idea, we've got some other beautiful <laughs> designs as well. Very, very colorful. Uh, colourful, lots of floral designs in there as well. Um, some patterns that perhaps you've not thought about getting before, but I know that when you're going to get them home, you're going to absolutely enjoy using them and using them uh, with different techniques, maybe some embroidery techniques, embroider onto them, uh, English paper piecing, for example, use them as a feature part to a cushion or patchwork and use them to make and create a quilt. Uh, a quilt? A, what is a quilt? Yeah, a quilt. Of course, it's a quilt, isn't it? What am I? It's that time of night. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's that time of night. It just didn't sound right. The quilt, but it was right. So that's your one day special. Uh, two pounds of twenty-nine pounds and eighty-eight pence. Two hundred three seven five eight is your item number. Now we've got some more for you. We've got some fat quarters, um, and these again beautiful designs. But we've got some options for you. So we'll start at the top. Oh, extended delivery, and it's going to be the 13th of October. So we've got some more choices for you now in colourways. We like that. We like matching colours. It makes it easier for yeah. people who don't necessarily, they find it hard to choose what goes with what. So again, with the, the previous fabrics you were showing, the hard work's been done for you. Yeah. Everything that's in that pack is going to go together and it's going to work nicely together. I love that. Now we've got different tones of greens and purples and pinks and peaches in here. These are beautiful. Uh, so the top one, uh, it's got your lovely green um, tones in there because you've got some abstract. You've got some lovely, is that, oh, what is that design? Dog tooth. That's kind it, dog of. tooth. Dog yeah, tooth, that's it. it. Cow tooth, it? dog tooth, beautiful. Gorgeous flowers, like a 1960s star. Really, really like that. Again, you've got some beautiful flowers, the ditzy daisies in there, but then you've got the blues and the greens. And then you've got that remarkable one. It's almost tropical. Um, and then that's really nice. I'm seeing Christmas trees with that. Some nice little yeah. festive. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty, pretty, isn't it? But all those work so, so well together. £19.94 and pence if you want to go for the green. Uh, and then you've got the stone, but this is, you've got purples in here, some peaches, <coughs> excuse me, in here as well. Um, but you'll see and you'll notice that you've got your, well, we saw green and we saw Christmas trees. I see that one. I'm looking at sound waves now, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, if you are editing digitally. Um, but that is, yeah, very, very good. Um, and again, you've got the tropic design in there. Let me just show you that. Beautiful. So that's your stone option. Underneath that, same patterns, but this is in purple. So your ditzy, do you remember when we spoke about the daisies? There you go. Well, that's it now in the purple. That was it in the green, just so you can see the difference there. Uh, £19.94 pence again. And then at the bottom, this is the lilac and the green. So that's a combination like that nice combination you choose you decide brand new today 19 pounds and 94 pence saving four pounds that's the most popular one by the way uh the one at the bottom just there the lilac and the green 754009
Right, we've got some more for you. 13 pieces. Unlucky for some, but it's going to be lucky for you. It's a baker's dozen, isn't it, 13? Yes. Why, is it? I don't know. Why is a baker's dozen 13? Is it because you bake an extra one and eat it, do you think? Well, I think it's a good idea. Oh, I think it's an excellent <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm brilliant. definitely not a baker. <laughs> I'd just order a baker's dozen just to have for myself. Uh, right, because you've always got to eat one on the way home. Or is, yeah, or is that just me? Absolutely. Actually, I eat one at the till whilst I'm waiting <laughs> to be served. <laughs> to be careful not to rip the barcode yeah. off. <laughs> it's got to be done, everyone. It's got to be done. You buy food when you're hungry, don't you? Yeah. Fact, it's a bad time don't to buy food. Don't go shopping when you're hungry. <laughs> right, a feast for your eyes here, though, with your fabrics. These are your Free Spirit Joel Jubri. And these are saving £5 on this particular deal, that usual price, discounted to 46 87 um, and you've got some beautiful designs here. You've got some blues and you've got some mustards in here. Um, absolutely fantastic. And some really nice modern fabrics. And two payments of £23.44. So you've got your teal. And then the next one, I would say, well, we've got various colours, but it's purpley pinks pinks but we do have some purples and pinks and some violet color in here nice modern uh, nice um, beautiful modern designs here and some traditional elements to boot really really nice really nice uh, 13 in total 46 pounds and 87 pence 205 773 and a baker's dozen actually we found out where that came from it's from the 13th century and it's about bakers making bread and they'd bake an extra loaf just in case there was shortfall of those 12 loaves. That they'd... Did they only make 12 then? Well, then they can't have made much money just making 12 loaves of bread a day. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hmm. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Um, oh, I'm getting confused by my baker's dozen now. Fabric. That's what we're talking <laughs> about. Wish I was... Did you sign that contract about working with me, by the way, Jenny? No. No, I think we better, we, no. we better sort that out before the show continues. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about your happy hour deals. Um, and we've got some happy hour deals for you. Uh, beautiful half metre pieces. And um, it's a pick, is it pick and mix? Pick and mix any two. Pick and mix any two. I'm going to get one out of the fabric. I'm just going to choose, I'm going to choose this one. I like this one. It's a nice English countryside one. And this is your light blue floral. It's always nice when you can see it in its larger uh, piece because it probably gives you more ideas of what you're going to do with that. It's a really nice denim style blue there, isn't it? With those lovely flowers. Gorgeous detail. And it's the white that really makes these patterns pop out. You might want to pick that one. Um, I'll get another one out for you just to show you. Here we go. Uh, we've got some little dots here, but I like this. I like the colours. And on the salvage, you will get the colour code, which will show you for your different um, fabrics if you want to match up or your uh, threads. Um, this is your grey multi dot stripe. Dots, stripe, grey. That's all you need to know. There you go. I like that one. That that would be really nice as a lining, Jenny. Don't yeah, you think? it's beautiful. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, right, so your happy hour deals are for this hour and this hour only. £13.99 and you get to pick and mix any two. Right, let's head back to Jenny now under some stills, as we call them in the trade. There they are. Oh, Jenny, it's your bags. I love... This is a gorgeous storage bucket it's in the shape of a bucket it is but it's soft and it's beautiful i really like this do you know what i put in there i put in my dog's toys do you know why because when my dog wants to get the toys out yeah. she'll be leaning in so that softness of the bag will be absolutely fine she could just lean in and get her toys and take them out good plan or for your washing taking it out yeah which yeah. is a really good idea so many different things so many di it's just fantastic and it's only 10 pounds and 99 pence that's for the pattern and then of course if you've got fabric at home you can use that or you can buy some from us on the show we've got something else which is really handy for you this is your here we go take a deep <laughs> breath your scrappy hexy zippy slip pouch that's brilliant the one. love this 
<coughs> excuse me, ten pounds and ninety nine pence zero zero two eight two seven. Can we make more than one of these patterns if we wanted to? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, Could I make a uh, small scale. Okay. So, like, if you if you wanted craft fairs or yes. whatever, yeah. but, but they're for great gifts, for, for gifts. gifts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Oh, this is lovely. I've seen this. I think this is something uh, you've been working on in the show. Uh, this is your floating hexi cushion. Oh, we're going to demonstrate this next. I love that. Ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Six four eight two five four. Let's have a look at this, Jenny. Take it away. Ah, okay. So it looks from the still picture like it's English paper piece, yeah. but it's not quite. Okay. It's cheating. So you don't have to English paper piece it if you don't oh, want right. to. So I'm going to go through the two different options. Here I've just I've pinned them on, but I thought I'd show you from the beginning how we do it and the two different options Great. and see how far we can get. Perfect. So uh, this project, again, is ideal for fat quarters yeah you, you just need a backing f uh, a background fabric for the front of the cushion because um i think a plain uh, solid really offsets these beautiful like prints it always works really nice and i think this is a prime example of using up your scrap pieces from your designer fabrics and also a prime example of showing you why designer fabrics are fabulous on a project like this because you've got all of those elements of interest yeah. and they go so far yeah so i've only used this tiny bit of the prints i have used a print for the uh for the back of the cushion just because i wanted to but you could put a plain print on the, the back of the cushion yeah and then that means uh, sorry a plain solid and then that means your uh, your fat quarters are going to go even further so these are great gifts that you could make for people for christmas and yeah. stuff yeah um and they also you can make the binding around the cushion uh, from the fat quarters as well. Great idea. So, um, Great in fact, idea. All, all the projects I've brought are fat quarter friendly. Brilliant. Right, so the first things first is you are going to start off like you are going to English paper piece. You're just not going to sew any of these shapes together, which okay. is what you would usually do. <laughs> yes. So, um, I'll just quickly show you how you do this if you just pop your hexagon on a square of fabric i've got the measurements in the pattern and you are just going to draw a quarter of an inch or it can be slightly more if you would rather it, it so long as it's not too much so it's not too bulky now we do have some of the paper pieces uh, yeah. for you on the show it's in a it's in a bundle it's a great little bundle actually um it comes with your pencil and there's a choice uh in the pencil uh black or pink so that's your fabric pencil you've also got your temporary adhesive which of course is is perfect for paper piecing and that is that to stick the paper to the fabric oh no no that's Ooh. not for paper piecing Ooh. that's for basting when you're basting onto wadding so fabric onto wadding before you quilt got you before you make it into a bag yeah. whether it's a quilt bag or anything quilted yeah that's basting spray for yeah. it yeah that's a great little bundle to get yeah. and then you've got your hexagons and how many are you getting in a pack a hundred wow so you're getting a hundred that's a lot of cushions and if you do want to go for that 15 pounds and 97 pence 97 75 pence sorry <laughs> <laughs> right so i've just drawn a quarter of an inch round my uh my hexagon and i'm just going to chop off the edge pieces like i said for this particular one you can use more than a quarter of an inch and it's going to be fine Go. so I'm just going to chop those off and then <clears throat> for this one ideally you want to glue base your hexagons not thread base them but I mean you could it's just your edges might not be as crisp yeah and I think they look really nice because it's quite a geometric pattern yeah you kind of want that crisp edge to it so you're just going to go all the way around just a bit of glue on the fabric you really don't need much at all okay what sort, what sort of glue are you using? So it's so line, so it's from the same make as the uh, the pencils that are there. Yeah. Um, you know, if you didn't have that at home, what would you use? You could, if you don't have the glue, you, you can thread base. So you basically yeah. uh, like a tack. So yeah, yeah, you tack it round. That's the traditional way before. Would you pin it? Um, you could pin it to hold it in place while you tack. Yeah. But you wouldn't pin it to stay pinned. Great. So, 
that's one hexagon done there. Can we see it? So as you can see, because I used the glue. Yeah, it's really, so crisp. really nice, crisp, sharp edges. Yeah. When I say sharp, I mean crisp, yeah. So this is where it's going to differ. All I'm going to do is I'm going to press that hexagon. Um, yeah, it is on. Is it? <laughs> I've left it on for ages, <laughs> so I wasn't sure if it turned itself off. So hopefully this... Yeah, that feels quite warm. Great. So you're just going to press your hex again. And then you're going to take it off. You're, you're going to peel it off straight away. Oh, yeah. So traditionally, you would make loads of hex again. Yeah. And you're right sides together and you'll yeah. sew them together. But no. So I've pressed it. So the hex again is now going to still be there. So I'm just peeling off. So that glue, it doesn't leave any um, residue. Great. Right, so, as you can see, it's pretty much stayed. So you're just going to want to press it again. Press it on the front and then the back. So, I know loads of people who don't like hand stitching, but they yeah. love the idea of hexagons. Yeah. So I've come up with two different ways that you can make this cushion. Okay. One, if you don't want to um, hand sew, also for quickness yes. as well. If yeah. you want to make these for gifts yeah. last minute, then you don't need to. All you need to do is pin it on a piece of fabric, the cushion, as you can see. I've measured all the measurements of how to spread them out or in the pattern. Do you know with the pins Move in, they up. look like butterflies, don't yeah. they? So that it'd be a nice <laughs> yeah, idea to turn them into down. butterflies. Yeah. So as you can see, I've just pinned those on there. That's just so it's ready for the next stage. And what you're going to do is when you've pinned them all on, you're just going to quilt straight on top of it. Just making sure you go through all yeah. the points. Yeah. And then they're going to be stuck on. Yeah. They're not going to go anywhere. You'll have little flat bits there, but yeah. it looks really nice. But the other option, if you really, if you, if you love hand sewing like I do, you can applique them on. So I just thought I'd show you a little little tip for appliqueing it on. I'll probably I'll pin it just to keep it down. Okay. So to applique one on, you're going to go up through the back of the fabric. Let me get this positioned all right. There we go. And you're just going to catch a tiny little bit of the side of the fabric. I've used white thread. I would match the thread. Okay. to yeah. the thing, but I sometimes feel like when I'm demonstrating, I like using a different colour thread so people can see what Perfect. I'm doing. Yes, great idea. So you're just going to do like a small whip stitch, like you would when you're sewing hexagons together when you're English paper piecing. So you're just going to go down and then straight back up, just catching the edge of the, of, of the hexagon here. Just whipping the stitch. Just whipping the stitch, my love, yes. There we go. So you would just go all the way around the hexagon. It's so relaxing. I could do this for hours. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a little bit different than like normal English paper. So it's like English paper piece and applique, basically. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted for this pattern to give you the option of not even having to hand sew if you didn't want to. Perfect. Yeah, so you're just going to go all the way around like this for all of the hexagons. So obviously that, that, that one's going to take you longer. But I mean, it's a perfect evening yeah, project, you know, when you're just sitting there, because um, I've said this so many times, I can't sit and watch TV without doing something. Yeah. Oh, I get so annoyed. Do you? Yeah, I get restless. I'm like, I need to do something. I'm, I'm wasting bit, my time. I'm a bit like that. I need to do like three things at once to concentrate on one yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, because if I'm just sitting watching TV, I just, my brain's not watching it. Yeah. Because my brain's thinking of the other things yeah. I could be doing while watching it. So you kind of need to distract yourself in order to enjoy what you're yes. watching on the telly. Yes. Or the other way around. Just, you need yeah. the TV to sort of like distract you away from what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. So I have to, so I've always got something on the go, hand sewing. So yeah, so this is the option for if you want to applique it, you just do it all the way around and Excellent. repeat that for all the hexagons. But it does look effective, doesn't it? It really, really does. And this could be with fabric that you've got at home, or it could be with the brand new fabrics that you're buying from us from the one day special, all the happy hour, all the other deals that we've got available for you, all of them 
beautifully bright wonderful designs as well and they look great even when you cut smaller pieces like Jenny's done with the hexagons as well you're still getting that designer element detail to them but you're only using a small part of the fabric and let's face it when we do projects we'll cut in or do the quilting we'll cut out the shapes and we'll always have something left over well this could be that project that you apply those pieces to don't they look fantastic they look so pretty. They really do. I really like these fabrics. They're they're very modern and I bright and modern fabrics and when you've got, got something me. like this, I know for me what I would do, I'd probably spend hours looking at where I've placed all the different pieces of fabric. Does it match? Will that go there? Oh, Does it look okay? Don't do that. No? No, well because they've all their collections are five. Yes. They all go together. Yeah. So really, where you place them doesn't matter because they're all going to go together yeah just randomly yeah. put them on you'll be surprised like i said that's why they're so good if you struggle with stuff like that when you can get collections like that of five prints that already go together color wise print wise just yeah. makes your life easier yeah excellent now i do need to tell you about some magazines that we've got for a seven day saver just before we step on um these are fantastic seven day savers are launched on a sunday and well they're supposed to be here for seven days, but sometimes we sell out and we do get very busy. So what we've got here is an opportunity to get three magazines for £10.97. With the magazines, you're also getting some goodies as well. So 48 applique templates, which of course will be fantastic for the designer fabrics we've got on the show. You've got issues 75, 76 and 77. You've got uh, your next magazine here that also has your quilting triangle <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you've also got your Dresden ruler as well so all three magazines oh, a great gift for I somebody. think I'm in that one which one the last one that I'm one. not a hundred percent sure but I recognize the front of it oh uh, do you know what I'm going to investigate <laughs> that whilst we carry I think on with it's the demonstration it's a little um a little article it's not a whole pattern that I time. shall investigate <laughs> there you go all three ten pounds and 97 pence treat yourself seven eight nine nine two eight uh right sorry carry on no that's uh, Jenny, fine I'll see if I can so find you in the magazine. I'm gonna do this slightly different people might be like oh don't do that there are no rules with quilting I found out it works so it's all good so I'm going to spray base using the 505 spray that's in the, um, the offer today. I'm actually going to leave these pins in here while I spray base. Okay. Because it's never affected it and my pins are fine and it keeps everything in place. Excellent. You could tack these down if you wanted to. Could you? Yeah, just, could just you a use, quick tacking. Could you use that temporary so I'm spray? Going to, I'm going to use the spray to put Great. it onto the wadding. Sorry, I am. You wouldn't. I am listening to you, Jenny. I'm, I'm just fine. trying to find you in the I magazine. Mean, I'm not sure if I definitely am. I think it's just probably just, I think it's one page where oh. I just did um, a, I'll, I'll find you. Um, just a little article. Um, I've lost the train of thought. Right. So you could tack these down if you didn't want to use pins. Um, you could use a little bit of fabric glue if you wanted to. I wouldn't spray this on straight onto those though. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to baste it how I always baste cushions, anything. Just I found Jenny in a masterclass. Yeah, there a little you EPP go. masterclass. And we're talking one. about basting and glue basting. <laughs> it's in the magazine, but you can't read it. You've got to buy it. You've got to buy it. Um, so that's issue 70. Seven, yeah, that's issue 77. Uh, so you're getting 77, 76 and 75 as well. All three of them, um, get that, just for Jenny. <laughs> just, just for Jenny. A great piece in there, you see? Quality. Lovely. Thanks for that, Jenny. That's all right. It's a nice, <laughs> it's a nice picture, actually. Double, actually. It's a nice little article. I'll read that while you carry on. <laughs> so um, I've, I've um, glued onto the wadding, put my fabric on top, and you just want to flatten it out nicely so you don't get any creases. Okay. So then, if you haven't appliqued these on, this is the next plan of action. You want to quilt through each corner of the hexagons can quilt it however you like but I found straight line quilting so you could actually do free motion quilting and have your wiggles all over the place and could you do heavily. echo quilting <laughs> <laughs> uh, no you couldn't because no? it wouldn't it would echo the shapes and not go over oh, them could you do um, <laughs> free 
free motion quilting. You definitely could, so long yes. as you go completely over the hexagon. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, could you um, quilt top? <laughs> You're done now. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> this could be a cool top. I mean, you could make a massive one of it. Yeah. Do you know, it'd be a really nice centrepiece. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just do like the borders around yeah. it. Yeah. And then you would have a quilt top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then if any of the pieces were like uh, left up at the side, the cats would love it, wouldn't they? Indeed. Just be playing with those shapes. So what I would do. I'm going to go oh, oh, against the, um, I don't know if how well I've lined these up because I did the thinner rush. So just, if you want to get your lines straight for this one, you might just want to do a little line that you can get rid of in between. It's mostly for when you get down to here, okay. if you're doing straight line quilting. So I'm just going to do one line. And just show you. Oh, I need to put my quilting foot down. There we go. Make the stitch bigger. I always do a nice large stitch when I'm quilting. And then I think we've got everything set up. We'll find out when the needle goes down, won't we? So, just gonna go along. And I mean, I often use my eye which often leads to slightly wonky quilting sometimes <laughs> when you're in a rush, but at least it's it adds so character. Um, now I've got a question. When you are quilting, do you use a contrasting cotton or would you use one that blends uh, oh, in? Oh, so it completely depends on Does the design. It? So I'm using a pink thread because the pink goes throughout the... Mm. Uh, throughout the prints on here and also pink against grey is one of my favourite colour combinations. It is beautiful, like I isn't actually it? I love like it. That, yeah. yeah. Um, but often when you've got a patchwork quilt, let's say, of so many different fabrics, or even the uh, nearest one to me, the blue one that you yeah. showed first, I would choose a cream one for that. Yeah, that's it's interesting, actually. Because yeah. there's quite a prominent cream going on. Yes. So, um, but the, the more green one, I, I would either do green or I would pick out the lilac. Yes, that would so be nice. So it really nice. does depend on the fabric you're using, what's the majority colour. Right. If there's one that you've got a lot of white background on, yeah. I would stick to white. Yeah. That. Usually. Perfect. But then every now and then I'll look at something and be like, actually. Yeah. That's going to have some colour on it. How about variegated thread? Yeah, variegated thread looks that lovely when you've got like white backgrounds. Yeah, so. that'd be lovely. Yeah. Oh, every day's a school day. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get to the hexagons, you're just going to make sure they don't tuck under your foot properly. I'm just going to move my pedal closer to me. And you're just going to sew straight through. You can remove your pin once you've got just before you get to it. I mean, we're using a large stitch uh, length, so yeah. I often go over my pins when I've got a large stitch length. It's yeah. usually only if I'm using a little one that I don't, because you're more likely to get it caught. So, you're just going to carry on going, and if your um, hexes have moved slightly, because I've only pinned them down, I can still, you know, manipulate them with my finger before they go in. So this is one that you wouldn't want to quilt, speed quilt. Okay. So you're going straight down So I'm, the yes. hexagons. So one, yeah, I'm going at one diagonal right now. And then I would go the opposite diagonal and then I would do some straight lines horizontally. If you grab the cushion there, it might be more clear. Yeah. Is that all right? Of course it you is. Because I used pink thread for that as well, so you, you should have. be able to see the quilting on it. Okay, I've got um, the cushion here, so you can see going through the hexagons, and you can see, oh, now you can start to see a pattern. See that? Yeah. Mm. You've got the hexagon in the middle, it looks like a flower. Yeah, and then the next one, it looks like a flower as well. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I like that very much. So this particular pattern would look fun in any of those prints. Yeah, it would. It yeah, would. You could, you could do with, with any of the bundles. If you wanted to leave maybe the sides of the hexagon up like uh, little wings, I guess you could do that as well, just stitch through it. Or, mm, um, the only problem is because the seam allowance on the hexagons just literally folded in and pressed. Good point. They would 
unfold in time. Yeah, you're Because right. you know cushions, they ended up getting yeah. sat on and... Oh, I love this. All of that. Love that. Um, some people, yes, yeah, some people have show cushions. I've got a show cushion. But Jane recently has started to use it. I'm not happy about it. I think I'm not happy the about wall. it. It's, oh, no, it is. It is. <laughs> um, normally, my show cushion, it's not a posh one. It just says home sweet home, or does it say home so home? I'm not sure. Uh, it's just the colours, mustard and grey, they look great. Oh. Uh, Light mustard and grey. Grey. Good in the one. It's, it's just With like, a pop of colour. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've seen any of my other shows. But I always, so often use grey as a background or a lining fabric. Yeah. Because I just feel like it just pops everything it's nicely. It certainly does. And there's all kinds of shades of grey, isn't there? Yeah, this grey that I'm 50. using for my background is kind of a linen texture grey, but it's not linen at all. Yeah. It's just quilting cotton. Now, when I was younger, I used to watch a television programme, and one of the characters in the programme was called Humphrey Cushion. Does anyone remember Humphrey Cushion on Hickory House? He was a strange looking dude. Was he a cushion? Pardon? Was he a cushion? Clearly I've not watched it. <laughs> <laughs> he was a cushion. He was a talking cushion with a head and an arm and everything. I think it was 70... 73 it started. And there was oh. dusty mop as well that used to come flying across the kitchen on a rope. I feel like I've heard of them, but I've definitely... Check them I've out. Them. On that tube thing that you can get online. So like I said, I'm literally just manipulating these where because I've had these pinned and folded and they've moved slightly, but not a problem. I just think this is such a fun, quick way to make a cushion. It is. It looks. I, I and do you can like never it. have too many cushions. My sofa's covered in them because every time I design a cushion, <laughs> ends up on my sofa after a while. After do I'm done with it, like using it for anything. Do you like a firm cushion or do you like a soft cushion? Ooh. Do you like a full stuffing or I just a like slight a, stuffing? I like quite a full stuffing. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah, so then the fat it fills out the fabric nicely. Yeah, it does. It does. You can't beat a full plump cushion of an evening to put your feet on, to put behind your back, to put under your bum, you know, also yeah. behind your head. Well, you can sit on a cushion, especially if you've got issues. <laughs> So, as you can see, I've gone through one diagonal here, <laughs> I'm just going to go, because it's going to take too long to make them all, I'm going to go at the opposite diagonal now, so you can see how it's going to slowly, I'll, I'll, I'll work on this hexi to show yeah. how all of the, all of the hexagon will um, end up being um, sewn down. I'm not going to draw it. People so have cushions this could go wonky. People have cushions for the beds now, for outside, on the furniture. Yes, so, people, like you say, you can never have too many cushions. People do have cushions for beds, which they put on their cushion, they put on their bed, yeah. and then every night they take them off. Throw on the floor. And then put them back on. Yeah. yeah. And isn't it strange when you think about it, you can buy cushions, and then you go, oh, I don't like them anymore. And you yes. actually throw them away and buy new ones when you can just cover them. Yes. Just make a new cover for it. I'm not going to I have cushions for seasons. Do you? I'm not even kidding. Really? So I've got loads of bright cushion covers yes. that I've made for the summer. And what then I've got idea. these like um, kind of burgundy shades with um, like a, a darker, just, just slightly darker. Mm, great. Which come out, yeah, there's some cream. Yeah. <laughs> that comes out in the autumn. And then as we get closer to December, yeah. maybe November, yeah. if I'm feeling jolly that year. Yeah. I'll get the Christmas cushion covers out. Do you? Out. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? That is a fantastic idea. You can spend your days making your cushions for yes. your seasons and then just get them out when and you need them. And then you don't get bored of them because they disappear after a few months for another year. I like that. Why not? And I'm not going to lie, I've probably got five of each different ones. Have you? I just oh. make cushions. I just think they're such a fun thing to design as well. They are. And what's, if you, you know, if you're just new to sewing, for example, cushions are very, oh. very easy to put together. And if you've got that envelope back as well, you don't even need to yeah. use a zip. That, and um, yeah, they, they're a nice size to handle. Yeah. And quilts are huge. Uh, so when you start on yeah. those, it can get a bit... Yeah. What size cushion are you working on? This though? is, I think it finishes as, made so many, I can't remember the dimensions, it fits a 16-inch 
cushion yeah. filler inside it. Okay. So it will be just slightly more than. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and huggable, isn't it? it really so is. here, as you can see, I've gone the opposite way on this one. So this hexagon is nearly completely down. So now we would just go um, horizontally. Just working <laughs> that one out. <laughs> I have trouble with that. Vertical, horizontal, diagonal. Diagonal. That's the other one. Diagonal. How can you figure? Well, it's a long time since I was at school. Horizontal, vertical diagonal there you go so I'm just doing this by eye but you can totally draw on or once you've sewn one you could use a seam guide just loads of options for it but often, when you are sewing like this just get a removable pen draw your stitch lines and you are well away Now we've got the one day special where you can choose your fabrics, we've got the pick and mix where you can choose your fabrics and they will be perfect for doing projects just like that that Jenny's putting together there. I'd like, just while Jenny's popping the last uh, few on, I would like to show you the patterns that Jenny has brought to us because I know she's worked incredibly hard on these to bring them to you for the show. First of all, that lovely bucket bag. Oh, I went all Leicester then, bucket. This bouquet. This bouquet, bouquet uh, bag. Um, that's lovely. I love this. I'm going to show. I've got, I've got one here. Uh, three six nine six eight two is your item number. Let's just move that out of the way so you can see it. What? Oh, yeah, it's just pandemonium. Isn't that a lovely shape? And I really like. Would you, th would you still call that quilting the stitch? Well, yeah, 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 you've still quilted on top of. Uh, yeah. I really like that. I love the shape of it as well, and the handles at the side, which is great. It encourages you. This is going to sound really w weird, but stay with me. It encourages you to put things in it and use it. Do you know what I mean <laughs> yeah, by that? Yeah, yeah. Um, because it is so easy to use. So you could have all of your knitting stuff in there if you want to, your crafting stuff. Uh, you could be popping a few things in there to take out, to put on the line. Or as I said, I think that would be lovely and put all the dog toys in and then it's so soft around the edges, little Millie will just come up and then have a hunt around, pull out the toys she wants and uh, off she goes because that's what she likes to do, bless her. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I said, I said in the previous show that they fit perfectly in the cube, oh, storage cube. Oh yeah. that's a little bit prettier. You can just, yeah, you can just pull, pull, up, pull out all your bits that you need. That's excellent. 369682 is your item number for your pattern. What have I done with the stand? Oh, it's here. Sorry. Mayhem as usual with me. Uh, next up, your scrappy hexy zipper pouch. There you go. I said that. It wasn't even on the screen. How cool is that? Um, this is fantastic. So you get your pattern. It's by Jenny. Uh, let me bring in the product to show you. Here we go. How organised are you going to be? Um, so you don't get the, the clips with it, but you can pop your clips there if you want to. There's a little pocket there. There's a little pocket there. You've got a zip. And you've got a little pocket there. Oh, and a little extra pocket there which is great and then you've got a zipper on the other side as well um, and then that just beautifully wraps over and then you can put that together so you've got that particular pattern for your hashtag so scrappy hexy zippy pouch pattern <laughs> which is fantastic isn't it zero zero two eight two seven is your item number uh, and then the cushion of course that we're demonstrating in the show we have the pattern for that um, I do like this. It's absolutely stunning, and it's something a little different, isn't it? Uh, right, ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Six four eight two five four is your item number. A beautiful pattern, as you get the opportunity to put all of your hexagons on there, and also pop your quilting of your choice on. So there you go. And then, where'd you keep your laptop? You might use your laptop on the cushion, but where do you keep it? And how do you carry it? Well, we've got a laptop bag for you. Um, you've got your pattern there, £10.99, 7.66580. And here it is. Look how gorgeous that is. And that's in one of the designer fabrics uh, that we've got on the show. How spectacular is that? So, with your designer fabrics for your one-day special, you might get these fabrics included or something very, very similar. Isn't, I like this. It's it, really handy. I made it quite large because my laptop's quite big. Is it? Yeah, but you can just... It's handy for documents because it fits A4 in perfectly as well. So. Yeah. You could just use it for all sorts. If you wanted it slightly more, um, 
like thicker you could use more batting different types yeah, yeah just make it a bit more protective like that ten pounds and ninety nine pence seven double six five eight zero is your item number for that we've got one more for you you can never have too many bags you can never have too many bags um, especially when they're made of fabric not plastic fabric uh, and not paper either um, something that you can use time and time again but what's really nice is that you've got a bag for all occasions and depending on the fabric used it could be a nice summer bag it could be a, a nice would you warm winter bag uh, a shopping bag an away bag a work bag zero one three seven four one you've got your pattern there ten pounds and ninety nine pence that's a beautiful tote bag right let's have a look at the website and then let's head back to Jenny because we're heading up to the end of the show remember this is your one day special we'll have another show tomorrow tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Here are all the items we've got for you on the show, including those patterns. Do go and have a peruse and have a look. And if your baskets come to £60 or more, remember, we will divide the cost into two payments for you. Have a look at the happy hour deal. That is for this hour and this hour only. So you're saving on that. £13.99. You've got your half metre pieces of fabric. The two that I would choose, I would go for, I do like that light blue floral, but... I'm thinking that watercolour floral as well. I like yeah. the multi-sketch floral. That is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I'm having that. Pop that in my basket. Ah, and the light each. blue. That'll do. <laughs> uh, but um, I might want to go for more. And if you want to go for more, the price will just change accordingly. Uh, so you could go for all six if you want to. Uh, if they went for two of the same one, is it a continuous cut or will it be cut? We can't promise. I think it might be in two cuts. But anyway, you've got the, the, the amount of fabric you want. But that's your happy hour. And it's for this hour and this hour only. But we are talking about your one-day special. Uh, designer fabrics, absolutely stunning. They really are. And you've got your colourways that they go with. Here's just an array of what you can get. Uh, we've got some more designs under here. I do like this one with the birds. You may get this, you may not. But this is a taster of the designer fabrics and the beauty that you're getting. Now, we've had a question from Liz. Liz would like to know, it's a great question Liz, I should have asked this actually, um, should we pre-wash the fabric before we use it? Ah, so it's such a debatable question, mm. I never do. Do you not? No. Some people choose to. There can be a little bit of shrinkage sometimes, but when you're buying such quality fabrics, there shouldn't be. Yeah, shrinkage. you're right. Yeah. So I never do. And it, I, if, if it is the case, I won't wash any fabrics that I'm using for a project. I often think that if they're printed, they've been washed anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I've never had shrinkage with quality fabrics before. No. No. But it's it totally nice. up to you if you want yeah, to. Of course. Don't put it on a strong wash. No. Because my fear for washing these fabrics that are pre cut is they might fray. Right, yeah, good right. point. That's the only issue that I worry about. Is good point. You, you know, maybe pop them in something like a pillowcase if you're going to wash them. That's another good idea. Because yeah. I, I see, I'm saying I never ever wash them, <laughs> pre wash them. I wash them after I finish the project, and that's yes. if I'm gifting it to someone. Of course, yeah. But um, yeah, I, if you are going to wash them, maybe pop them in something. That's so good that idea. They don't that is a Correct. great idea. A little bag um, or a pillowcase, perfect idea. Mm. Saving £40 on this deal, 59 75 25 fat quarters. They're a USA fat quarter. The measurement of a USA fat quarter is 18 by 22 inches. It's a wonderful deal to get some marvellous fabric and it's going to be delivered directly to your door, saving £40 on that deal. And we're dispatching in two weeks' time. On the 13th of October. 13th of October. Where's this Flying. year gone? Well, at home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yep. <laughs> it's all gone at home. Right, Jenny, uh, let's carry on with the demonstration. Right, so obviously you would quilt all of this, but it takes time. I want to show you other things. Okay. So I've gone ahead and I have um, cut the excess batting off. So just use your rotary cutter, square it off nicely and that is what you'll be left with so um like we mentioned earlier it's an envelope back i'm such a fan of envelope backs because they're quick and easy okay. and you don't have to faff around with a zip no although tomorrow i'll show you some zippy tips <laughs> so, oh zippy tip i, I, I need a zip putting in my um i've got a um sofa and the cushion not the cushion the cover's broken the zip's been broken for years i've just oh, never replaced yeah, it no nah, nah. that's effort 
<laughs> that's because it's like it's mending something. Yeah. But when you're putting them in, to start yeah, you're with, right. It's all right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So you, again, you've got two options for the backing. If you don't want to add binding round the cushion, the cushion that we've got here, I've added binding round it. Okay. So if you don't want to add binding, you're going to want to put your uh, cushion front facing you. Then you're going to line up your smaller backing piece right sides together and you would pin that on and then you would lay your slightly larger backing piece lining up the top okay when i say larger i mean just the length yeah. so obviously because you want to form a little envelope there so that's what you do and then you would sew all the way around and you're done it's very quick and easy, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And I think that's one of the things when you, you think about um, the start of your journey into sewing and soft crafts, you think, how am I going to put a zip in there? Yes, I can stitch along a straight line and along a straight line so I can make a, a, a just a, a very practical cushion. But how am I going to put a zip in there? This is a perfect way to get over that yeah. obstacle and then start your love yeah. and your journey of soft crafts. Definitely. I think mm. always start with something simple that's yeah. not going to stress you out yes. you don't want to be stressed when you're learning something new yes you're right so don't go too far ahead I think and that's a great um, idea. zip wise i've got a pattern that includes a zip yes. and i've had great feedback on it because i've taken it from the minute you start with yes. the zip. It's from yeah. the zip being in your hand and yeah. i've had people come back to me i'm not scared of zips anymore Brilliant. i was like good because i was scared of zips I wonder if Years there's an ago. actual name, zipophobia or something like that. We'll find out. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's going to be if you're actually scared of zips, oh, though, yeah, not yeah. just sewing with them. Yeah. Can you imagine True. being a sewist and being scared of zips? Yeah. Anyway, going off on the tangent, as My always. brother's afraid of tomato sauce. <laughs> what? <laughs> like actually scared of mushrooms. My cousin's scared of mushrooms. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, must have had a bad experience yeah. once. <laughs> random facts right if you want to add binding to your cushion you would flip your um, cushion round so you've got the right side on the surface then you would put your smaller piece lined up right sides facing you this time for this fabric and then you would pop this one on here and what you would do is pin it nicely so it's not going to move and I'm just seeing the time if I've got how long do I have three and a half minutes hmm, I don't think I can sew it I'm going to talk you through that. yes okay so you would sew all around the edges but use a scant quarter inch seam so that's slightly less than quarter inch okay so that when you add your binding the stitching you've done to hold these all in place you're not going to see. Right. So it's going to be within the seam allowance of your binding. Got you. So you don't have to then flip the cushion through or anything. And then you would add the binding just like you would um, a normal quilt. Okay. So people actually might have time for three minutes to show you. Just going to cut a two and a half inch strip. Because some people just... Get, I've, I've got binding tutorials around, yeah. but it's the first bit that I never ever show because whenever I do stuff, like on, on the TV, I'll uh, pre-make stuff. So, now we do have some cutting kits on the show, uh, with some cutting mats and rotary blades. You might want to go and check those out as well. Yeah. These, uh, these uh, rotary cutters are great. And you can move it to left-handed. Yeah, you see, that's excellent. That's always a bonus, thinking about us lefties. Right, so, just you would cut numerous uh, two and a half inch strips, depending on the size of, the way to work out binding is, add each side of your cushion up and add 10 inches. Okay. Yeah. So, to actually make said strips into one long strip you don't just sew them like that and okay. then open them out you sew them on the diagonal so oh, you'll have one yes. piece like this yep and then right sides together you would do this now you could draw a uh, draw a line across pin it if you want to i'm just gonna wing it oh and i've still got me a 
still got my quilting foot on it, didn't like that. <laughs> it's going to be a bit messy now. Okay, so you just sew along in the diagonal, which I've probably gone very off now because of that. But you get the gist. You open it up and you've got perfect. Is that so you don't see the You seam. don't really see it yeah. as much. And then you just clip off quarter of an inch ish and you oh, open wow, that fun. out and you would um, just press that. Iron that and then fold that over and you've got your binding strip to Look which that. you. <clears throat> this is all moved now, so just do it on here. Pretend it's folded over. Just get rid of everything now. Say this is folded over. We've got 20 oh, seconds that's all right. left. Raw edges Perfect. to raw edge. Fold it. <clears throat> but you can see that on excellent other Jenny what a pleasure I'm going to see you again yes. at 12 o'clock tomorrow o but you'll be back in the morning at 8 o'clock oh, I am indeed um, so have a lovely evening thank you Rest well and we'll see you bright and early in the morning oh don't forget you can still buy all the patterns of course and the one day special you can continue to buy after the hour you just can't get that happy hour deal that finishes at nine o'clock stay where you are though we've got more coming up on Ho Chanda we're live now all the way until 10 o'clock every night we've got some wonderful pens coming up to help you become a colorist Yes, the Spectra AD Pens is coming up next with our Helen. Designer scrap bags one day special on repeat later. And then we've got a chance to see all and create once again. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Coming up in the future with Ho Chanda, The Mill Shop Online is going to bring lots more collections of beautiful fabrics, all inspired for your crafters, for your upholsterers, soft furnishings, everything for every project.
All our designs for Hochanda, all our crafting elements, always very unique and very exclusive for Hochanda. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Meal Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. Right, how colourful is your life? Mm? Oh, you need some more colours. Well, we have got them for you. We've got water-based markers and we've got alcohol-based markers for you. And we've got some sensational deals as well. And I'll tell you someone else, tell you someone else I've got with me. Hi, it's mm, nine o'clock. Hi, Helen. Hi, Janice. How are, <laughs> how are you? Well, it is nine o'clock, getting tired, ready for bed. Oh, But well, we've got so much lovely things to do that we're just going to have to carry on. Yeah, we certainly have. <laughs> and do you know what? Sometimes when you do feel a little bit tired or a little bit under the weather or you've lost your mojo, when you sit down and you do some colouring, you really start to feel good again and your imagination starts racing away because it's something that's very peaceful but it's also very creative as well. Now we've got some fabulous deals on Spectra AD pens. What are Spectra AD pens, Helen? Well, these pens come from Germany. Uh, they're quite new into the country, although they're not a new company. They have been around for many, many years and they produce some fantastic products for us. Now, what I love about these, they are dual nibbed. So in the set of 12, it's really 24. It is. Same colour, uh, but you've got the two nibs. So you've got that lovely brush stroke. And you've also got the chisel tip as well. And I love the design of these because instead of being circular, you've got, you see these little flat platforms here that makes it easier to grip. And the lids themselves also have the little tiny indents which makes it easy to take off. And you see, one lid will go there, one lid will go there. And if you want to take that lid off and put it on the bottom and then that one on the top, it fits. So you don't have to get the right one on the right end. So that's absolutely perfect, especially someone like me. They're presented beautifully as well in the box. And in that box, you can just simply, if I get this... Get, see if, oh, is this, no, you can't take this one out. This one stays in. That's it. But what I do like about this is that you've got that magnetic clasp just there. So that keeps them nice and neat. And then you can stand them up if you want to, if you want to use them in such a way. You've also on the back got your colour palette. So you can reference that if you want to. But with your 12 pens, of course, you can start mixing and matching your colours. Now, it's a great price. I want to show you the colours that you're getting. Because with your aqua pens, you can blend the colours and draw them out, can't you? You certainly can. So although we're showing 12 there, which is the sample set that I've made, if you were to mix any of those colours with each other, you're going to create a whole new colour. So from 12 pens, I dread to think how many you can make, but quite, quite a few. Yeah, you certainly and, can. And don't forget... They go as strong as the top piece of that sample all the way down to a watery effect of that sample. So you get lots of shades from the most vibrant right the way down. It's lovely, isn't it? £36.99. You're saving £27. Just hold your horses a moment. OK, let your horses go. Um, <laughs> That was made in the earlier show using the watercolour brushes. That's how vibrant and beautiful they are. It's fantastic. You can watch that demonstration in the earlier show. Now, we do have another deal for you. 
and that includes the 12 pens but you also get some fine liners as well in these beautiful rainbow colors and you also get the blacks the browns and the gray in there too and that is 40 pounds 98 pence and that's going for your fine liners and the water brush um, pens markers sorry uh, if you want to go for these separately they're 9.99 let me just take this one out take the lid off that and show you just how fine lined these are and you can't beat a good fine liner can you, you can't they're perfect for drawing with uh, especially the black if you miss stamp you can just use that to fill in the gaps so you look like you've done it perfect the first time. Now I'm really enjoying using fine liner pens at the moment to do some doodles because you can make some really small shapes, circles and little stars and make flowers with them. So you can enhance your artwork or you can start your artwork with your fine liners. They're there uh, together with your watercolour markers. They're there, but they're there. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. £9.99 on their own, but together with the water colour markers, details at the bottom of your screen, £40.98. You also have extended delivery. They are coming from Germany, so it's going to be the 9th of October. Now, you might not be very good at mixing colours at the moment, so you want more colours. You don't want to have to mix. It's a bit like we said earlier on, it's a bit like Oliver. Please, sir, can I have some more? More? Well, yes, you can. Um, we've got some lovely tones in here for you. This is a superb deal. You're saving £48. Now, we'll divide the cost into two, but we'll send the product all at the same time. Two payments of £40. It's with these that you can pull them out so you can use them separately, which makes them very, very cute to use. And the colours in these, well, we're just stretching it out even further, aren't we, Helen? Yeah, you've got even more lovely colours, particularly for me, it's the turquoises. I love turquoise anything, yes. so I wouldn't like to have to try and blend that myself. It's already in the kit. Um, if you've just got that extra few that you really, really can't yeah, do without. I do like that. And they'll last um, a good time because you can use your water brush pens with these and add water. Yeah, they're not like um, a normal felt tip pen where you're going to use the ink all from the pen. You're going to scribble it on a shiny surface like a plate or a glass mat um, and then you're going to pick it up with your water brush or a paint brush with water on it and that really extends the life of it because you're only using such a small amount. You'll see as we use them later how strong um, the colour is to start with so you only need such a small amount. And that means if you want to use these with younger members of the family they're not going to take your pens away and they're going to ruin them by using all of them very very quickly. You can give them like a plate or a palette with the colours on and then, they can, and then they can come back and get some more from you. So a beautiful design. Again, what a gorgeous gift to get. We were busy in the earlier hour for the sets of 24, but I'll tell you where we were most busy and that's the big Bundle, the big set for you. We've got 48 pens for you, and it is an incredible saving. It's an incredible saving. If you're going to have a big one, have a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make sense at all. If you're going to have one, have a big one. That's what I meant to say. Um, and this is a great price because you're saving £115. Wow. That's the saving, That's Helen. amazing. That really is amazing. That is I mean, look at this for a gift. Imagine, you know, you've got even just um, a child coming back from college at Christmas um, enjoys a little bit of downtime. doesn't matter what they're doing at college. They yeah. still need some downtime and they have an interest in art, you buy them this pack for Christmas, they will be well away. As a crafter, will. if I was to receive this, I would be overjoyed. Now with this, you've got lots of different colours, but you've also got uh, different tones in those colours, and that's what makes this very, very attractive to artists. Um, whether you're starting out on your journey as a colourist, or whether you are an accomplished colorist. Uh, we've got lots of different tones in the blacks and the greys and the browns, the orange, the yellows, the greens, the blues and the tones of the perfect beautiful purples which is great. £134.99. It's a considerable purchase but we'll divide the cost into three payments for you. But we'll send everything out at the same time. £45 today, we'll send the whole set of 48 out to you. 
and then another payment a month after that and another payment a month after that they'll be paid for by Christmas and you can make a nice little palette like this that we've got here if you want to so beautiful card designs beautiful gorgeous artwork they are water based so you can extend these with your watercolor brushes uh, 514873 is your item number if you want to go for those they do look shiny on the sample, but just it's only because I've laminated my sample. Yes. Um, it's always great if you're going to make yourself a palette, is pop it through a laminator and then you've got it forever. Yeah, that's a great idea. It really, really is. Okay, shall we move on to some alcohol pens? Good job I said pens after that, isn't it? <laughs> it shall is we nine move on to some. <laughs> alcohol pens it's yeah it was it's not 10 o'clock yet so we can talk about them it's fine um, I'm just kidding right now we've got different sets for you uh, with different tones in there but what's great about this if you want to go for more than one you're more than welcome to do so but everyone has a black in there because I think you need a black to do your outlining to do um, your detailing work so there is a black one in each of the sets so that's fantastic so if you did want a black one you've got one in each set let's go through the colors and then we'll talk about alcohol pens so uh, in no particular order we've got your portrait uh, great skin tones in here fabulous it's got really has got something for everyone um, and again you can mix them together so I mean when you look at some of them they look quite harsh but you're going to blend those down using perhaps a lighter color as well so they're really good set perfect then you've got your summer so some lovely bright colors in there mm, I love that pink it's beautiful it's isn't it pink, beautiful. isn't it great uh, your spring again some beautifully fresh bright colors we like the fact that you get the different tones of blue and green and brown and pink because of course mother nature really does deliver some spectacular colors in the flowers in springtime we've also got your autumn now this is the most popular, it doesn't surprise me. Um, it's great for your autumnal colours, but also great for your landscapes, I think. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Beautiful. And again, you've got the black in there as well. And here you've got your floral. Again, bright colours, gorgeous greens, different tones as well for creating those landscapes and flowers. £22, that's all it is. It's almost a half price deal, isn't it, for your marker pens. And these will go on all kinds of different surfaces and papers. Yeah, they certainly will. Alcohol markers will go on most surfaces. I, in fact, I can't think of many that it won't. Um, it will go on metal, it will go on obviously your normal card, you can colour your gemstones, you can colour your ribbon, so you can make everything match your whatever card you're making just by using the pens and some card. It's fantastic, it really is, and the alcohol, of course, evaporates. Um, £22, 696, is your item number. Um, now, they do have the same shape and barrel as the watercolour. Let me get one out. I like the Prestud quality and the Prestud to go They are back very good again. quality packaging, very good. Um, and here we go. So here's the yellow one. It's the dual nib as well. So you've got the brush nib. And we'll show you just how, um, well, I'll tell you what, let me do it on the back of here. Let me do that. So you've got that flexibility on that. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and then you've got the chisel as well, which is brilliant. Um, I hope it might not come off. It's alcohol pen, isn't it? It's fine. Whoops. We can use it with actual hand spray, you know, what we're using at the moment, all our antibacterial yeah, stuff. Yeah, we could do. We, we can could wash do. it off with that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, thank goodness for that. Uh, <laughs> £22, you choose, you decide. Uh, let's head to the website as we go to the demo area and see Helen. So let's have a look at the website. This is where you can see everything available for you. If there's a red banner, that means it's available on Flexibuy, where we'll divide the cost into more than one payment for you, but we'll send it all out at the same time. Extended delivery on the 12th of October. Oh, we've got some great paper for you it's always good isn't it to get the right paper because then you know that your pens and markers are going to work perfectly so the papers we've also got some gorgeous stamps which have been chosen by Helen and we've got some amazing coloring books for 9.99 all three of those coloring books for 9.99 from Anna Griffin they're absolutely fantastic and it's a seven day saver so it's a great price for seven days whilst it lasts right Helen what are we going to do well, I thought we'd just have a little play with these fine liners because they're really great on their own without using all the other products with it. They'd be particularly good with that, um, the colouring books because they're quite fine detail, some of them. So you can use your other pens on the larger areas and then add your little bit of detail with these. We can have a little draw with these. I'm not the best of drawers, but um, you can see just how fine these pens are. And then we'll add some watercolour to it. 
and I particularly like writing with my fine liners. Yeah, there's something about using a fine liner for that, isn't there? And obviously, these are permanent. Let it dry for just a second, and then we'll add some colour down the centre. It's great. You were saying about extending your um, stamps. You know, if you've stamped and you've missed a bit. Yeah, which I always do every do time, you? unless I use um, a stamping platform. Yeah, it's very easy to miss a little bit. So it's great to be able to just fill it in with that. I haven't let mine dry quite long enough, but you can still see the stamp. And my tissue. You notice know, I've gone quiet now because I'm. Are you colouring in your book? I'm having a play. <laughs> with the doodles. Now when you're using your fine liners and you want to add uh, maybe your watercolour, do you let them dry first of all? Yes, yeah. You, you do need to give them a quick blast actually with the heat gun which I didn't do but you can see just how fine they are. Um, great on their own, great with the pens as well. Yes. But uh, one thing I really want to show you is um, the watercolours and how they work with um, the stamps. Oh yes please. So I've got some watercolour card here and we're going to stamp the dogwood with my block. Where's my block gone? There it is. So I'm going to use a distress ink which is a water-based ink and the reason for that is when we finish doing our colouring in we're not going to see um, any of the outline of the stamp because the pens are going to take over that job. Oh, okay I'm interested in so this. So I'm just going to stamp this dogwood I am, I am watching. I'm just doodling and watching. That's all right. As long as you're enjoying yourself. I am. I love fine liners. It's just something <laughs> about them. So, there we go. It looks quite odd because obviously it's oh, all pink. Wow. But when we start colouring, you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. Now, this stamp is available on the show if you want to get hold of it. Uh, the details are on your screen from Indigo Blue. I do love dogwood. I was saying earlier, it's my favourite flower on the tree. Favourite tree. <laughs> I hadn't actually heard of it until Kay bought it out as a stamp. Oh it's fabulous. Well, uh, we've got a tree in the back garden we were doing a research of what tree to get and I really wanted to get a dogwood. Um, we didn't get one in the end um, basically because we saw one really cheap and so we got like a black cherry tree instead. But the dogwoods are beautiful. I did go the cheap way out sorry. So what I do is I use the darker colour first and I kind of um, I use it in the centre of the flower and I'm doing petals away from each other just because I want it to dry in between each petal and then I'm taking the colour off the brush and then I'm just using the colour that's already on the petal and I'm just dragging it down to sort of another hot, about another third same with these ones and then I'm going to get rid of the rest of the colour off my brush and I'm literally just pulling in a little bit of that colour so you get the nice shading on the edge of the end of the petals and all of the stamped image eventually will disappear because it's water based so it's going to just hook up with what we're putting down um, on our petals in fact let me show you one that's been done quite a bit further on and you can see there that nearly all of the flowers now have disappeared and all I've got left to do is the green parts so let's do the leaves I'm still here, I'm just drawing. <laughs> and you can see how strong the pigment is out of these pens and why you only need such a small amount to be able to, uh, to colour with. Again, I'm just taking the darkest colour and I'm taking that wherever I think the dark shading would be, generally in, the, in, in between the petals and dragging that out. And then I'm going to take the lighter colour. Oh, that looks beautiful. Well. So you can see how all this pink is, is disappearing. As I just drag it out, it's going to merge with that green and disappear. I do like the idea of being able to take these pens with you and have just a small amount on an old tile or an old plate and then you can simply just 
draw the colour from there and then with the fine liners at hand, taking them out with you, you've got all of that wonderful detail. If you don't have a stamp, you could actually draw something and then just use the watercolour on top. Yeah, they're, they're so versatile. I mean, we don't get to go out much uh, with our friends crafting at the moment. I actually should missed a, a fantastic, what would have been a fantastic um, Indigo Blue weekend this weekend. Oh, the Dirty Weekend. Yeah, it's last weekend and uh, unfortunately it had to be cancelled. Oh. Um, what a shame, but we will get together again soon um, and have a play time. Are you allowed to say what happens on the Dirty Weekends? Well, it's nothing dirty apart from the paint. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you, lots and lots of laughter. Yes. Lots and lots of fabulous um, instructed crafting. Do you have um, lots of biscuits? Yeah, lots of cake, lots of lovely food. Um, and it's, it's a bit of me time, I have to yeah. admit, and I was really, really looking forward to it. Um, but we will get together again soon and, um, and have some fun. Kay's a fabulous teacher, so we, we all have a really good time. Even if you're a little bit more advanced, um, there is something for everyone from a beginner all the way up. Oh, that's fantastic. It's there nice to spend time with friends and hopefully, you know, maybe some of us are spending time with friends over digital platforms, but um, it's just it's just nice to get together or do a bit of craft and share what you do yes, on the definitely. social media, which is, you know, it's been really a godsend to people. So I'll just wipe that off my mat and you can see now how nearly all of that pink has disappeared. This is how we started, very, very pink. Now all of the stamped as stamped images disappeared and we're left with just the beautiful colours. Um, I've made one earlier and I've made it into a card so you can see exactly how it finishes oh, up. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And because these are water-based, that's why you, you can do this with those pens. Um, and I think it gives a lovely subtle effect without having the outline of the stamp for a change. It certainly does. What a lovely effect. Sorry, I'm still just, I'm just doodling away. Are you away. enjoying yourself over there? I am. Are you going to show just... and tell? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So I've been, I've been using, yeah, I've been using the fine liners. I've just been doodling a little, um, some, some flowers and a little peacock. I'm into be peacocks at the moment. Oh, that's well, lovely. Well, one peacock anyway. Yeah, I'm peacocking again. You're very talented. In one way. I'm not <laughs> finished it yet. I'm just, just doodling away. But I'm using, using all the, the little. Um, that's not a beehive. It's a, it's a, it's a flower. It could be a beehive. I could draw some little bees, but the uh, the fine liners are so fine. I can add all of that detail to that. I'll carry on. I'll carry on using those. Now let me show you the coloring books because these fine liners will be perfect for the coloring books. I'll show you the big one first of all. Uh, you get all three. You get all three. So this is an amazing deal. It really is. It's Christmas theme, but some of the pictures in here are not just for Christmas, and it's larger than A4. 9 by 12. So you've got your bells in there, you've got some really beautiful, beautiful um, areas to colour in. And it's about mindfulness, isn't it? I mean, you could doodle in those if you wanted to. Uh, you've got some lovely pictures there that you could colour in and maybe cut out. You could use these for backgrounds if you wanted them. I mean, that's not necessarily Christmas, but it would look fantastic coloured in as a background. So plenty of images, plenty of pages to work through. And uh, you were saying with Anna Griffin, you started crafting with her um, many, many years ago. I mean, she's been going, gotta be, 20 years? Yeah. Um, so she's so good at what she does. That's why she's lasted so long. Her designs are perfect. This is an idea of what they might look like when they're coloured in, by the way. So that's your larger book, but you also get the smaller books as well for $9.99. They're not each. It's $9.99. So they're a great price. But these, I think, you colour that in, that would be perfect as a, a card cover. I really like that. I love that close-up of the baubles. I think it's fabulous. Uh, what else have you got in here? You've got some bells. Uh, again, that would be perfect for a backdrop to a card. Um, maybe die cut into it as well once you've done it. Or it could just be a little colouring book that you colour. And then maybe you could doodle at the top. Maybe you could write something. Maybe you could um, colour in, have a think about the day, and then maybe just write like a journal piece at the top there, which is a, a nice idea. You get two of those, by the way. Two of the smaller ones and the large one, 999 018 Four seven one, which is a great Christmas gift. Right, so I'm going to carry on doodling. I'm going to go back to Helen, <laughs> and I'm going to have a little play with alcohol. Ooh, <laughs> markers, oh, markers. <laughs> yes, yes. We were saying earlier about all the different services that you can use them on. Um, one of the favourite things that I like to do is to get some mirror card and emboss it um, with an embossing folder. I don't have one with me, um, but we have just grabbed a piece of 
uh, Miri card just to show you how lovely they go on and you can colour them and make any colour you wish which is quite unusual to be able to go on such a shiny surface and I know your favourite is uh, shrink plastic isn't it? Yeah and these will work with shrink plastic won't they? They will yes. um, and so that you can colour them any colour you like. Some of the embossing folders are quite detailed um, and they have a lot of scenes and things and they look okay just in Miri but if you were to be able to colour it as well they would look an absolute delight. But I'm going to have a little play with um, some of the skin tones, some of the flesh tones. Um, I love this little character because she reminds me very much of my daughter. Um, long black hair normally she has, but we're going to give oh. her brown hair today. Did you draw that? No, no. This is a, a Santoro stamp. Oh, yes, I recognise that Gorgeous now. girl. She's really cute. Um, there's lots of different characters out there, but I just wanted to grab one to be able to show you. So what I like to do with the skin tones, and what I always do with my pens, is I just check the colours that I'm using on a bit of paper because it can be deceptive and there's nothing worse than putting the wrong colour down. Right, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to lay the first colour down and I'm going to put it all over. And this kind of gives a bit of an undercoat. Different people use alcohol markers in different ways. There isn't any right or wrong way. Some people like to start with the dark, some people like to start with the light. But I find if I give it a base coat, the ink is already in the card and it's given me a surface to be able to add more ink to. Yeah. So I've put like a base coat down. I'm going to give her some little rosy cheeks. And I always go back to my base colour and blend it in. Because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to look like Aunt Sally. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? I do. He used I to am, work for someone who used to scare the absolute pajubis out of me. <laughs> I don't want to marry a dirty old scarecrow <laughs> like you, Wurzel. Oh, but she loved him, really. They were great. When they used to eat cake together when they went to the, um, the, the, the cake shop. The tea shop. Oh, oh my word. It was Saturday night viewing, that was. It was. So I've added a bit of a darker colour underneath the hairline there because obviously that's where the shadow would fall. And I've gone back to my base colour and I've blended it in. So you can see that just with three colours, um, you really can get a fabulous shaded effect. Wow. Just with three colours. I'll have a little play on her dress. I'm not going to colour the whole image because as usual, you know, it's, it's going to get a bit boring if I do. But this, these dark colours really help show the shading. When did you first start to use colour and um, start to become an excellent colourist that you are? <laughs> um, well, I used to be quite afraid of it. And I, I mean, I started crafting with decoupage like most people. Um, and you used to see all these beautiful stamped images and think, oh, I love the image, but I can't get it to colour the same as it just looks on the packet. Yeah. Um, and then alcohol markers were introduced um, many, many years ago. And it, it suddenly took it to a new level. It made it so that we could get a lovely stamped image with dark, strong colour, but without getting those scribble lines that we used to get with the felt tips that we used to use. Yeah. Um, and that really, really changed everything for me. The fact that I could get these beautiful, strong colours. Um, it didn't rip up the paper. It doesn't make it go all bobbly. And that was a, a real game changer for me. And that's when I started uh, practising and colouring. Did it take you long to learn? No, really. There is so many um, YouTubes and all sorts for you to learn colouring. But it's all about practice. And, and, and I always say, just start off with two colours that are quite similar. One dark, one light. You can always add more if you want to. But I find it easier just to use the two. And I put the light colour down first. I'm adding the dark colour where the shading would be. And then I'm going back to my base colour and I'm going to blend it in. So we're going to get some great shading, but we're not going to get scribble lines, bobbly paper. And we're still going to keep that depth of colour. I love watercolouring, but I also love the fact that when I use my alcohol markers, I get this strong depth of colour that, that doesn't disappear. Um, and I think that's why I love alcohol markers as well. 
that the tip that you're using there it looks it looks nice and moist and soft so you can use it like you're doing straight onto the paper but you can use it to create a palette as well can't you uh, it's a bit harder with an alcohol marker yes it is you sorry. would need to you I'm can just doodling you can do it but you would need some sort of pure alcohol to mix yeah. with it and blend yeah, you with would, it you're right sorry. Um, no it's fine a it's blending, a good really a good question solution. yes a blending solution yes so you can see that depth of color there I'm going to just go on to the hair and then I'm going to show you how I use the fine liners with it as well. Again, I'm just checking those colours, making sure I'm happy with what I picked out the pot. <laughs> and what's nice, like you said, you can't see those lines. It, they, they blend in perfectly, don't they? They do. These pens are so nice to hold. And the one thing I love is the, the lids don't just fall off on their own. Yeah. Um, they do stay on very, very well, but they're not hard to get off. Yeah, um, I know that some people really struggle with lids. Well, that's that design, isn't it, that we've got here with the two little indents in the side. It makes it easier, like you say, to take off, but you've got that click. You know it's on and it's going to stay on. And obviously with alcohol markers, if you were to leave the lid off, it will evaporate. It's got alcohol in it and it will, um, you know, dry out. So you must put the lids back on. Um, with the watercolours, not so, not so much. If you want to keep this beautiful, vibrant colour, you must put the lids back on. Now, I'm noticing you're taking that pen, you're going up and down, you're going side to side, um, and you're mixing it up a little bit. And because those, you don't get any lines, you can do that, can't you? You yes. can look any way you like. <laughs> yeah, it's, it does make life so much easier. So I'm going in with my next colour now. I'm going to keep it so that sort of this part here is lighter, because that's where the sun would catch. So I'm going to add the darker colour in between. And you can just keep going until you're happy. You know, you can add as much ink as you want. I love that. I love the shading. It, it really brings it to life. and It almost makes it look like it's, uh, it's laser printed. Yes. This is just three colours for a hair. Obviously, you could go mad. You could use six or seven. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to add a little bit more dark there and then I'm going back in again with my base colour and I'm just blending it all in. Now your alcohol markers are available in sets of 12. They're a saving of £21. It's, it, it's almost like a half price deal. So think about going for maybe a couple of them if you want to because then you can get those beautiful colours. The black does come in each of the sets but you've got some lovely bright vibrant colours with the summer and the spring. You've got those delightful autumn colours which are proving to be the most popular. And the two tips that you've got, I'm just going to grab a pack. It's a brush and a chisel. So let me just open this up for you and there you go. So I'll show you, I'll demonstrate on here. So see how easy it is to take the um, thing off. So um, you've got your chisel. Um, oh, by the way, that's Emily, our producer. <laughs> uh, so yes, that, that, that's your chisel. Uh, so you can see you've got the two ways of using that. And then your brush. See, that's beautiful, absolutely stunning. Got a really nice soft touch to that. So it's going to be fabulous for you to uh, use for your colouring in. So your two nibs on there. Uh, you've got your chisel and your brush tip. Uh, it's perfect because it shows you also which end is which as well, just to give you that indication. You can see at each end. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to use the fine liners just to add a little bit more detail. So you've got the brown. So you can just add some lines back in. And then I'm going to use the pink because we've got some quite small items here. So let's, oh, look at that beautiful bright pink. Oh, that is pink. lovely. So and this gonna... is where your fine liners really do come in for that extra detail. Yes, yeah, so those tiny little bits that normally would be quite difficult to get into. But these fine liners go into every single little detail. So let me show you what she looks like when she's completely finished and how vibrant she is. Oh, yes, please. I'll hold that up for you, make it easier. Oh, wow. So you can see just how vibrant those colours are. That is beautiful. Look at that. It's just, it's, fa it's fabulous to be able to shade 
the right way with the right pens whether it be alcohol markers or whether you're going for your water based markers uh, it's just wonderful to get the right products isn't it and you're seeing quality here you can go online you can have a look around and you can think and you can um and you can ah but here you get the demonstrations you can see it work for you if you have any questions please do email in it's studio at hochander.com and we'll answer your questions or you might just want to say hello to us uh, <laughs> six nine six seven six seven can you imagine if somebody actually said a photocopy picture and then we printed it out and then we coloured it in no that'd be too much <laughs> that'd be too much but it would be good it would be good but any questions if I'm not asking the right questions please do email in or maybe leave a message on Facebook if you've got anything that you've been very very proud of that you've coloured in please send that in so we can see that and we can share the inspiration if you're colouring something in at the moment and you need some help Take a picture, send it in. We've got Helen here. She will help you and advise you. So on the show, we've got your watercolour markers. We've got the alcohol markers, proven to be very popular. And we've also got the fine liners as well. Let me just pop that down there. Uh, your fine liners and the watercolour markers together. It's a great deal. And that's £40.98 if you want to go for those. Fine liners give you that, well, fine line detail. So whether you're doing some doodling like that, and make them very colourful or whether you're doing some like, sketchy doodles like that and you're doing little caricatures of your producer um, your fine liner pens will help you out they'll also help you out in colouring little areas when you need to £40.98 pens that's superb value for money not just for the alcohol markers but also for your watercolour pens as well absolutely fantastic Let's pop those back in there now if you want the fine liners by themselves they are 9 99 it's a great price pop them into your basket freedom members no p and p try and find some some uh, fine liner markers with no pmp on for that price here at hochanda freedom members no postage and packaging and they're 12 and the colors and you also get that all important black for doing your outlines which are fantastic perfect let's go back to helen for some more demonstrations what we're going to have a look at now helen wow i do love my rainbows and uh, i think we're just going to use all the colors of the rainbow yeah, <laughs> let's do it and just see how they work and let's how they're going to merge together so we've got some red I mean, how strong are these colours? They are fabulous. I am putting too much on this mat. You don't need hardly any at all. And that's on a, a glass mat. It is, yeah. You could use a tile, but anything shiny, really, will work for you. And I think we'll have a darker green for some of our leaves. So I'm just using a water brush. You can use an old tile, a plate. You can use a plate. Yep. Yeah absolutely anything or even just your acrylic block that your stamps uh, sit on yeah that works really oh, yeah, well as yeah, well yeah of course and um the packaging from your fine liner pen you could use that maybe yeah so if you're crafting on the go you don't need to take anything special with you so we're just adding the color to this stamped image we're not coloring the flowers as they're meant to be because i really like creating just something a little bit quirky I'm just going to cover these leaves I was saying to Janice earlier one of my favorite things to do is to draw some hearts on a canvas with the watercolor pens and then just spray it with water oh, yeah. let it go and just see what happens that would be fabulous they, those colors together don't they look great they do I mean we could dip some card into this as well so if you wanted to make some funky backgrounds hey, we could spray idea. some water we could um, put can that we, in can we do can we do that can we Should we do it? I've got water? a bus fly here actually yeah yeah let's do it we can just mop it up mop it up yeah let's not waste it Mm. Oh, <laughs> look at that. And that was completely off the cuff, wasn't it? <laughs> but yes, I really, really, really like that. I do like that. What a great idea. What a great... There you go. And that's just from your wastage. I love this butterfly. It's one of my favourite stamps. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> that's a really good demonstration, actually, just mopping up nice the rest of big. your colours. Because if you tried to do that yourself and tried to get the colours in the right places, it, would never work. it might not work <laughs> as well. But what we're doing now is just spraying those flowers. Can you see how that's spreading out now, that colour? So it's just, it's just merging. It's finding its own place. We can blot it a little bit if we want to. It's a great one to do with kids. They don't have to be neat about their colouring or painting at all. Yeah. 
Oh, I like this. I want to do some more. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's so inspirational. The thing is with watercolours, there is so many things you can do with them. Uh, just like the alcohol markers, once you've got them, you really can have a play. Yeah. I'll let that dry on its own and I'll show you. We've had a picture sent in, Helen. Really? This is from that. Michelle. Oh, Michelle. you Have you done that, Michelle? No, that's printed. That's printed. Let me have a look. No. That's lovely. Have you really? Does it say whether it's watercolours or alcohol markers? I think it's alcohol, alcohol. markers. Alcohol. Wow, Michelle, that's outstanding. And what I meant alcohol markers, not just randomly <laughs> shouting, alcohol. Um, Michelle, that 